Good afternoon, Bagman fans. From Monaco, Bill Riles and Tar Mendocino, Ace Point Backgammon, broadcasting from the 54th Backgammon World Championship. This morning, we are, seems like morning because I haven't been up very long, but <laughs> actually early this afternoon here, we have two great matches, the semifinals of the undefeated bracket. Uh... On stream two, Phil Simborg is going to be do, doing that, and I'm sure be joined with an expert uh, co-commentator shortly. That will be Ofar Balali, Ofir Balali from Israel versus Frank Frigo of the United States. Uh, Frigo is a, he won the world championship in 1994. And here on stream one, what a match we have. Um, Victor Askenazi versus Chris Rogers. So, um, this should be a, a great match. Actually, uh, Victor is now the betting favorite, not only in this match, but in the overall world championship. So, um, you know, we shall see. Chris Rogers is a very accomplished player. Uh, so, this should be entertaining. I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to it. And um, I should... Somewhere wandering around here, supposed to be joining me, uh, so he's he's a touch late. Is uh, British Grandmaster uh, Sebastian Wilkinson is going to uh, give us his uh, insight and perspectives and uh, perhaps knowledge of Chris's game, and uh, so this should be a lot lot of fun. Now the two winners. We'll play in the undefeated final tonight at 10 p.m. Oh, come on. Maybe a glass of water. Oh, okay. Maybe a beer, actually. <laughs> oh, we're on a delay. Wow, it's yeah, you have to watch this. <laughs> Don't pay attention Don't to Don't pay that. attention to this. Okay. You, I've watched this because I can see the uh, chat. Ah, the comments. Very nice. So, uh, Sebastian Wilkinson, welcome. Thank you. Good to have you Honor, here. It's and a privilege. It should be uh, should be quite an entertaining and uh, interesting match. Wow, epic encounter we got coming up. Yeah, very special. And, uh, you know, I know Victor's probably better known oh, yeah. in regard, in certain re respects, but uh, Chris is a very accomplished player in his own right. Very accomplished, yeah. I think everybody knows Vic as sort of a worldwide backgammon star, uh, so more familiar with him, but Chris is... You know, been playing a long time, got many notable tournament results. He's captain of the UK team. Mm -hmm. I think they've just given him another two years to be captain. He's done the last two years. Fantastic job. Um, so, yeah, it should be a really good match. So, uh, and that's interesting. The You know, I was talking, I had heard this, but I didn't uh, know the story because I'm friends with Ian Terry. I don't know uh -huh. you know Ian Terry. Yeah, I know Ian. Who's a little bit of a minor celebrity because he won the... Big reality brother. show yeah. big brother and and he had told me at one time that chris had won something similar and i asked chris about it yesterday i guess it was and he was telling it some show called countdown yeah something. it's countdown it's a very popular show in the uk uh it's with the uh, words and numbers you make words and uh solve sort of little mental mass problems with numbers in, a, in a, an amount of time 30 seconds usually yeah uh very popular been running for countless years and he actually, he didn't only win, like, the the show, I believe. He went on to, like, the champion of champions. And I think he won that. Ah. So I think there's an old clip on YouTube of him uh, participating. So if anyone wants to check that out, uh, <laughs> they can see Chris in his element. So uh, well, that's, that's interesting. And I guess, you know, again, I was talking to him last night a little bit. I mean, backgammon is his life now. That's all he does. Yeah. He's, uh, I guess, play tournaments, play cash games or whatever, you know. And uh, and that's great. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> if you can, if you can uh, full time accomplish it, uh, it's great. Phil had asked him yesterday. I know it was funny. Phil asked him, well, "Do you give lessons?" Or he said, "I can't afford to give lessons." <laughs> <laughs> I guess, and I inferred from that that he can do better. Yeah, you know, playing on his own than he can selling his time uh, giving a lesson. Sounds good. 
So, well, good. Well, you just rolled in here today. I th I yeah, last night I got in last night. Um, I thought you were gonna. Very happy to be I here. Missed seeing you. I know I'd seen uh, what a week or ten days ago. You had posted something for Victor that you were like almost all but on the way. I was I on the way. I yeah. thought I would see you here, and then I didn't. And uh, well, and, and then I run into you this morning. <laughs> yeah, happy coincidence. Yeah. Yeah, very pleased to be here and to make it eventually. So we had some travel problems, but that's what happens. We're learning and uh, we'll try and not repeat the same mistake again. Well, and I know a number of people coming from the States had some travel problems yeah. that were associated more so with weather and things of this nature that uh you know delayed some flights had some flights uh canceled and what have you so uh Ooh, that's tar, huh? they're gonna they're gonna kick off soon you huh? look amazing with those headphones and, uh... <laughs> can i tar well she may can i get a glass of water or something from somewhere i'm happy to get it myself please. they didn't have anything out yeah I've been scouring the room <laughs> So anyway, well, in a 17 point match is uh, quite a marathon. Yeah. In this environment and the pressure and the intensity to get to the undefeated final of Monte Carlo World Championship. Wow. So not Sorry. only is it you're playing in Chris's case, Victor Oskanazi, but with the stakes so high. So high. It's, yeah. Uh, you know, and, and, you know, you're so afraid to make a mistake you know i mean and to me the mental exhaustion of this type of yeah situation is much worse than the physical exhaustion of doing something else. you know it's, it's, it's yeah you're completely right i think it's something that people at home would seriously underestimate like the strain thank you so much um the strain of playing lots of long matches many hours just how the fatigue and tiredness sets in and really affects your decision making how sharp you feel and like you said all the pressure of not just the money but the, the dream of the prestige getting the title getting to the final uh, there's so much on the line and every decision matters and counts towards it so i'm sure we'll see them super focused really trying to play their best um but also you know fighting the exhaustion from all the other matches and all, all the time they've spent at the board so and i guess even you know that pressure and intensity and so forth only builds as you get deeper into the tournament yeah and here we are i mean the winner of this would only have to win two more matches to, to be world champion to be world champion. amazing <laughs> yeah this is what we all play for you know these uh these yeah. big matches against the best players are uh, really exciting so and as many of you know um the way i like to conduct the uh, commentary is more of an interactive basis so we have a laptop in front of us uh, sebastian and i can both read the chat line so if you have any uh, comments critiques suggestions questions whatever just feel free to uh, to type them in and as we uh, have the opportunity and so forth we'll, we'll we will respond so uh, yeah that sounds good we gave shout outs, we'd be here all day. <laughs> oh, come in, go no, in, quick, three games. I'm joking, you're good. Hello. Have a great match. You too. Hey, Vic, enjoy you yourself. <laughs> Very cool, calm, collected Vic there. He's had some crazy matches. I think he went to three DMPs. Three in a row. Three DMPs, DMPs in a row. And, and he I was think he was a dog at some point big in dog. each of those DMP matches. I heard, yeah. So it does now, feel last like... Last night, he got a little bit of a breather, <laughs> comparatively. Yeah. But, uh, wow. Yeah, that was a really exciting match as well. Four cube, eight cube, could have gone either way. Fernando had a great chance. Uh, oh, okay. okay. Yeah, lucky for the viewers. Too. So here we are. We'll have live XG transcription. Oh, we got the live XG. That's yeah. Difficult. We're going to so, have to be faster than, than that. Yeah, so we can cover our own backsides a bit, you know. But uh, we have what? Chris is uh, on the top of the board playing white. Victor lower part of the board playing black oh there's the handshake yeah chris is in the red shirt for y'all those who don't know them victor on the right so uh off and running off good, and running good match yeah like you said really long match so you know you want to be really steady you can't just win the match in in one roll you just go through each move methodically do the best you can play each point each game one at a time um but yeah they both want to get off to a good start feel comfortable 
All right. Yeah. What's your Dick baby? Already, Dick already made an error. <laughs> did he? What did he do? Zero, zero, one. Oh, I see. <laughs> Maybe that's just because the analysis is not on the uh, <laughs> on the full thing. Oh, because he slotted with two one. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the that's actually the best play though. Yeah, we need we need the full rollout analysis, but we'll try and give some insights and guide you through the games and hopefully pick some plays before you can see any of the results. Um, yeah, this well, these are very the computer that Aviv Ziva is using to transcribe. These computers we're using are very high end gaming computers, so they're very fast. Yeah, very fast. But <laughs> look at that play already, double two. He wasn't supposed to cover the five point. You're supposed to leave it slotted and make the four, make the eleven, or do something else to really try and contain that last back checker that uh, hasn't escaped. But he just made the natural play, made the five. Very understandable. I think most people would play that. Uh, but really cool third row position already. Uh, comes up with something interesting nice uh, nice yeah. roll by chris great roll from chris and he's thinking should i push up to the 22 and try and escape that last back checker or should i just make the seven point i think they both look good okay i would probably have pushed out just to get the last man out but seven point is strong as well yeah and it most players would play that. I think. Yeah, I think, I think most people would play that. Oh, I think we see a cube. Wow, insta cube. He cube really far. No double, but thins. Yeah, no, it should be fine. This is a pressure cube. He takes it. The easy take. Yeah, so. easy, easy take. There's not many threats. He's not threatening to hit him or make the four point. He's really just threatening to escape and run. Uh, I probably see him play two down here or four yeah, down and, and two It's up. interesting. I think two uh, up perhaps, uh, and, and the guys, they, they strategize and theorize about how they're going to play and so forth. Yeah. I mean, Chris may have come with the idea. He's a bit of a dog against Victor. I'm going to play a bit more aggressively. Let's let's make it happen. Yeah, I think you're right about that. I think you want to take his chances. Whenever he feels like he's in a good spot, he's going to send the cube and try and make the most of, of these good moments. It's also quite difficult to send re-cubes in these big matches, you know? 2-1 lovely. He's going to anchor and be really happy with that. Okay. Now the defense is fixed, and he can focus all his attention on containing and priming Chris's last checker. Uh, so yeah, he'll definitely make the point with the four points win prizes, and the ace probably optional. It likes eleven to ten. That's a builder for the four point. That's nice. And I guess you're and not it really dupes a six two for yeah dupes hitting. Six two. If you step up, you don't really want to step up to twenty three because then you're under three builders as well, right. aren't you, for getting attacked? Yeah, I like. Then you get five two as well. Make the eight point. That's kind of nice. Five one. Okay, so he could make the ace point, but you'll probably see more of a containing play, like the eight or the four point. Sorry, the nine point. And that's what we yeah, see Yeah, he maybe makes the four and the nine. Oh. Yeah, the four and the nine looks really good. Sort of pure priming play. Uh, he's gonna... This is something you would look at, but you're not really stopping him from doing anything. And it's not very efficient to contain him this way. You can see he can just enter in the spaces. He's still 20 pips ahead. It's quite easy for him to get out. So he'll probably put it back and have a look at Sort of a more priming option on Q. Nine looks good, four looks good. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're just two points away from a six prime. Or one and a half, you could say. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Chris's best number would be six, and Chris six is five. offset by two from the from the front of that potential prime. Right, yeah, he doesn't want to step up under under all those checkers. Okay, so he's giving it a think. Maybe he will go for the ace. Maybe he feels like there's just too much going on. If Chris had builders, like an extra builder on the six or the five, this would probably be the idea. Stop him making the four or stop him improving. Um, but he's obviously obviously thinking that he wants to stop him running and escaping, and this feels like a good way to do it by a tempo. And, and takes half a roll out of Chris's hand as well. Yeah, exactly. Does Yeah, it prevents him making the eight point or running away completely. Um, but Chris is really happy now, and you can see how difficult it is to contain that last back checker having made the ace point, investing two checkers uh, deep in the board. This is just 13-5, no other play. He would have liked that last roll. You know, it's kind of interesting, and I made the point yesterday in one of the matches, and we saw a bit of this. Victor didn't spend all that much time on it, but, but these guys know they don't waste time on inconsequential plays so much but uh -huh. what they know and are willing to invest the time when it's a critical play. yeah definitely you recognize the big moments where you should spend a bit more time or something you're not so comfortable with and you want to look at it a bit deeper 
All right, no dice on Checker here. Yeah. Are you getting used to that? <laughs> I kind of like die on Checker. So he would like a priming move, like 6-1, 4-1, Doesn't get it. Does he have to hit now? Stag again. Maybe he has to hit now. Okay, he played it quickly. That's a natural play, so can't blame him. I would have looked at hitting. You know, he may have a wee bit of gammon save hesitation as well. I'm not sure. He's got the two-point anchor, so he should be okay for gammon. He's really he's focused to win the game. It's just to stop that last checker escaping. Um, and he's got the ace point made, so he has this blitzing structure, which doesn't play very well. And Chris is just trying to escape. If he can just get that last back checker free into the race, then he'll be on his way home. So that's why you see him coming out here immediately. And then if Vic hits him, he's you know hitting outside, not making any inner board points. It's kind of awkward. You know, how does he right. play like six five or six four? These hitting numbers are, are not that fun. There's six two is a nice six. one. Probably see him play eight to six. Um just for balance distribution. He does leave four numbers. Four three five two. Uh Chris would prefer to roll six three, six four, four five. But this looks natural. He'll briefly consider splitting, but that doesn't really go anywhere you yeah, want to. Yeah, he didn't accomplish too much with the split. No, you're happy with the anchor for now. You want to try and get some work done on this side and build some points. Mm. All right, see him considering it. Maybe he's thinking about slotting. Yeah, very briefly to answer one gentleman's question there, the actual... The undefeated bracket final is tonight at 10 p.m. The actual final final is uh, Sunday. Yeah. So the winner will have a the winner tonight will have a day off. A day off, yeah. While all the uh, second chance bracket is played out tomorrow, slugging so, it out in the second chance. <laughs> but that, I like this new format of just having one final. Yeah, yeah. I think that's much better because it was the, a, a uh, huge advantage before, wasn't it? The winner, uh, I think, the winner of the undefeated bracket, I think, gets a 5% cash bonus. Yeah, I like that idea as yeah, well. Yeah, and, and that's to compensate for that accomplishment. But then uh, the winner of the uh, second chance bracket only, they play a single match for the championship. Yeah. So it's almost doubly limb until the the last match. Yeah, really, really high stakes here. Well, I did go for the split. It's a bit big, but I like it. It's actually the DMP play. It's the, it looks like it wins the most games or similar number of games. Um, the thing is now he's trying to do too many things. He wants to make the anchor, but he also wants to point on him. And he's got three blocks around. And you can see if Chris just rolled double three or something, he would have been in real trouble. Real there. dire straits. And so, but it was a big play. He's got no fear in making these big moves. Um, so yeah, he really wants double two now. <laughs> you know, and 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 certainly these guys, and and it's kind of interesting. You know, they want to play as well as they can. They want to, and a PR usually relates to the best play. Yeah. But th at the end of the day, the objective is to win. Of course. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so it's it's not a PR competition. No, definitely not. You just do the best you can with the information you have to make a good decision. Uh, so we saw a good sequence there for Vic. He made the point and Chris danced. He's just looking, but there's nothing here for the cube. He's way <laughs> Yeah, I think he's got way, uh, way You see they're about much. even money, which is interesting. Vic winning a few more gammons. But yeah, six four would be the nuts. Oh dear. That's what do they call that? Anti Joker? <laughs> yes. Is that the official term? That's that's, that's one thing. <laughs> it make, makes you feel good about not cubing though, doesn't it? Because you'd be passing you'd be passing the recube now. Um, so he's wow, he's oh, in big trouble. Gets hit, so there's yeah, the third it. checker back. He's gonna need a four or a three one or double two to feel good. Or any two actually he'll feel better about it. But a four really uh would go a long way to saving the gammon. There you okay, go. Okay, so he, that probably saves him from disaster. Yeah, but these positions when you have a crunched inner board, your position is much, much weaker than you realize. You have no flexibility, no options. Um, um and no way to contain a hit checker, no way to do anything really, just to run and get into the race. And a lot of your numbers you'll find are going to be forced. Yeah, it's over there. So you can see if Vic rolls like 4-5, he has to break the anchor. He's forced to break the anchor. He really wants to roll a 6 and just escape that third inefficient checker back. 
Uh, Chris is looking at maybe giving him some numbers. Oh, he's just going to well, point on it's him. Almost, well, he can point on him, but then it almost serves as a trap play as well. If, uh... Yeah, well, I like that because you stop him escaping, so he's not moving the pips to save the gammon in the race. And he can still roll, look, 1-6 from here, 1-5. I oh, know 1-5 doesn't play, but 1-6, 4-5. So that actually would have been much worse if you'd chosen the other play. Yeah. And that happens a lot, right? You make the technically the play with the most value, the best play as the computer defines it. But uh, you would have been better off making another play. Yeah. <laughs> or vice versa. Yeah, so many great matches for you to go back and watch if you haven't caught them all. Uh, lots of fantastic commentary. So you can see Chris is 80% here. Yeah. And he's got 10% gammons. 10% gammons on top of that. Oh. So he's thinking about hanging back. He should hang back for something like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, Actually, he should hang back for like double six and double four. Because uh, these are the really, really big swing rolls. So yeah, just make the ace point. Then you have a five point board. Then you, uh, then you have some real threats when you hit him. When he pops out, then you hit him. You win well, many can't more games. it now, right? He, no, but you you slot you it to make slot it. Slot it to make it. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the plan. Okay. Um, so play. Uh, and that allows you to stay back. The coverage. Right. Yeah, th this you're going to get hit with four or five, which you'd prefer not to be. And double six is much better for Vic this way. There you go. Four or five. So he makes some progress. Make some progress, probably. Uh, so Chris would have hit him with a with a five. So we see a different variation. Now he's going to stay back because you can clearly see that Vic won't be able to safety that block with numbers like two one three one four one double one three two, even sixes like four two and five one. He's going to get a chance to pick up that third checker again, win more gammons. Um, so I think this is pretty clear. This one. Yep. So he still wants double six. Be able to take anything that doesn't leave a shot. Yeah. <laughs> How does he play four or five? Double one, yeah, maybe double just makes one. a five point board. Yeah, why and then he's holding him and he's saying, well, <laughs> if you roll two one, three one, and I'm going to hit you. Wow, that's a great roll, actually. Oh, tremendous. He's got some strength back in the position. All right, let's see what Chris has got. Oh, oh he's got the three there one. You go. He can't clear yeah, it. We saw the sequence. That all so, happened because Chris came forward and didn't stay back. It's really interesting, the difference mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at this play. Oh, and yeah, so, six to two uh, looks normal, just following the same and it's theme. It's so illustrative of the intricacies <laughs> of backgammon. Yeah. And the vagaries of backgammon. It's just Precisely. Good. Yeah. Here he's leaving six five, and there's no bad numbers, so I don't like this play because there's no bad two one, three one like there would be the other way. And he doesn't duplicate the six. The other way he was duplicating the six. Um, and he got more shots. So I understand why he did it. Like he would have got a shot on this number instead of being hit and being on the bar. That's a massive difference, isn't it? And now, if he dances, Vic's going to have some time to jump out and and get round kind of safely. So big okay. swing here in the opening now, game. A huge swing. Again, he's, he's taking a moment to think, but he's he's not he's really not considering there this yet. But uh, no, he's, he's he, he to certainly get out. he's certainly going to be looking for that first opportunity to to ship it back. Yeah, you can see he needs a bit a bit more of an improvement. Yeah, but this is constructive. I mean, he decides here, but he's also, in doing so, kind of evaluating when I when yeah I can do that. Exactly. Right, you want to evaluate the position and say, well, what do I need? I need, like, one more. Uh -oh. oh, that's one of the worst. One Crunches the, worst. the board. So, again, not going to be seeing a re for a while. <laughs> no, really, really bad number. Chris can now enter with fives as well. He'll keep that checker going. And now he's forced off with all the sixes and some of the fives. Well, just four or five. Well, and six five counts. We mentioned that. Yeah. So big swing again. Oh, we like that one. Doesn't have to move. Okay. So we'll see Chris make the ace probably with a five. Stay out there. That's a bit awkward. Could he clear the seven and make the ace? Kind of like that play. Gives three five as well. Seven one seven five. Is that cheeky? Nope. That's what we got to try and do, Bill. We got to try and get our plays in before it comes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it likes your seven one seven five. Yeah, it looks really the right way to go. Was uh, even a uh, enhances the trapping potential. Right. Yeah, you make the five point board. Look at numbers like even three, four. Oh, the fours are forced fours as well. Fours are forced. Four, Fives oh, are forced. Oh, Sixes are forced. Oh, horrible! Some of these it, numbers. Uh, 
ultimate trap play. Yeah, no, it's very good. I uh, usually more confident in making trap plays against weaker boards, like crunch boards, like three point boards, two point boards. You can play anything you like. Um, but even here against this four point board, he's got the perfect setup with the straggler with the one man back. Some people call him the goalkeeper. Now he's just going to have to play just it. Have to the, go to the nine. Yeah, he's just going to have to do that. Otherwise, he'd leave a shot. And you don't want to get hit. So, still takes full advantage of all the numbers that break from the anchor. But you can see that this way, he's not going to pick up both checkers. Correct. Unless it's it, a 4 1. Right? Unless it's a 4 1, right. <laughs> yeah, 4 1 is the anti nuts. Um, but that's the beauty of the, the trap well, players that you can, three one. you can close out two checkers and get a real chance of winning the gammon. Right. And Chris would like a small number, perhaps. Well, you can go to the yeah, ace. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. It's okay. Bit awkward, but it's fine. It's pretty forced. I mean, yep. So Vic praying for that double four, double three, double six. Double six would be make a really interesting race. Yeah, because even with this, Chris is what? Uh, well, it's even? What is it? Okay. Yeah, of course, you can't just look at the raw pip count in these high wastage positions. Yeah. Um, Ravello did not come to Monaco this year to answer one gentleman's question. Oh, I see you're picking up on the chat. Oh, again, he doesn't have to move. Yeah. Two in a row that he couldn't move. Beautiful to see all these great people. Hi Amir, hi Reese, hi Jeff, Tapio. Well, I figured today we to have a, a, a nice British audience with, <laughs> with uh, Chris Blank, so I thought a British uh, yeah. master commentator would be uh, appropriate. Oh, he's jumped car. out. Yeah, well, I'll be I'll be playing for the UK with Chris in the in the team at Sculpture at the end of I guess the end of next month. It's yeah. kind of the World Cup. Where all the countries face off against each other. That should be very exciting. Um, now, I presume you're on the team. I think I made the team, yeah. <laughs> I have to double check. But <laughs> they'll have me. A really fun event. It so, is. You know, we streamed the Trier event two years ago. And oh, yeah. That, that was incredible tournament, incredible venue. Yeah. And uh, Fantastic. So they'll both be happy, I think, with this first result. I mean, once Vic crunched the board, uh, he was, you know, in real gammon danger. Um, but then Chris could have lost when he was on the bar against the five-point board. Right. As we saw, all he needed is to jump one checker out, and he probably would have had a recube after another dance, or it would have been really close. Uh, but this, this race is pretty much over. Oh, he has 10%. Well, it's, uh, it's kind of interesting, though. I mean... I agree with you. Both will be relatively happy with the result. Today. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's a uh, kind of sets it up, shows what a long, brutal match this is going to be because they've, uh, I mean, they've been playing, I don't know how much, what is it, uh, 20 minutes probably. <laughs> it's one game. <laughs> yeah. Right? And uh, takes a lot out of you. Takes a lot out of you. And they've, uh, but I think Chris has used four minutes, Victor about five minutes. So, uh, but as you said to start, you know they're, they're seasoned pros; they're very used to playing long hours. Yeah, um, yeah. But nothing quite matches the intensity and the pressure of these big matches. Uh, it's very difficult to prepare yourself for. Uh, yeah, you have to. You know, going in, there's going to be ups and downs. It's a roller right. coaster, and there's going to be moments of elation and moments of dejection, and you just have to condition yourself. That's the way it is. Yeah, completely. Just have to look forward to see how the story will unfold. <laughs> yeah, um, USA is still asleep, but USA can boss the chat. <laughs> oh, good to see Gaz in the chat as well. Hi, Julia, Simon, CJ. Oh, I'm sure Seth will be rooting hard. The sound? Apparently... Oh. Atar, if you're listening, is it um, for the other stream? Or? We need some. Uh, apparently, the speaker turned on or up in the viewing area. I hope everyone at home can hear us okay. Yeah, she heard it. <laughs> sure we'll get it sorted. All right. So, 6 1 makes the point. Double six, forced, pretty much, unless you want to leave a shot in the midpoint. So, he makes the two point. Does he come down with two? Yep. 
It's normally what you do. You don't want to split against an inefficient priming structure, like an attacking structure like Chris has with the two point. You just efficiently prime your opponent and you'll you'll win. So he wants to split and come down. But he'll think about slotting. Maybe he wants to play 6-5 as well. Yeah, 6-5 is best. To unstack the 6, try and improve that structure. Splitting with a 1. Okay. Oh, I hope Phil's okay. Yeah. Wonder if, um... Mark, if you want to do it, you'd be great with Justin. Yeah. Mark would do it. Mark, you should. You've got a great voice. Malcolm would do it. On here? Oh, okay. Oh, you can hear this. We're trying okay. to make some people technical adjustments here. So uh... Can you hear it now? <laughs> Okay. Uh, there's always some technical difficulties going around. If it's a flight, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure we'll get it fixed. All right. So he made the advanced anchor. Happy days. Advanced anchors are awesome. Is my little ah uh, thing to remember. So he makes the five prime. And I think we saw him consider the cube there before that roll. So he's definitely going to be cubing now. And he's two 0 down as well. He will slot the four point, I think, unstack. He'll think about stepping up, but you don't want to step into all these checkers and all this potential attack. You want to just let him roll an awkward number. Um, but he's going to double. I'm very confident about that. And I think he probably is going to pass, even though he should take. So there's my prediction. <laughs> <laughs> there's the cube. That's there's half the of cube, it. So let's see what happens. Let's see if we get the parlay. Now you, were, you were trying to double tag, yeah? So you were trying to... Oh, get your prediction in before the I always want to do that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to be led. I actually like what Michelle said. It's maybe better viewing to watch without the XG feed, but we love to know the answer as well. So you know, and yeah, there's uh, says everybody has an opinion. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's all good fun. Just here, trying to enjoy the moment. This is, says it's a razor thin take. Yeah, he passes. I don't like this position. And as he stepped up, the position is even worse. If he'd stayed back and slotted the four, it would have been a much bigger take. But um, you can see how uncomfortable that is. So, 2 1. But got a game each. Uh, yeah. Both have broken the ice. So. They've broken the ice. All right. You don't want to be yet to score. That's not a good <laughs> score to be at. So, it's nice to get on the board. Um, so, he continues to slot with 2 1. Eddie Tell. Hello. Number Joe Urso's in the house. Jonathan Hardigree and a number of your um, your Brits. Yeah, well, they're all awake, aren't they? Got a big audience <laughs> uh, following their countryman Chris here. Yeah, I can imagine big support for Chris from the UK, and um, big support for Victor as well from <laughs> from the states. Um, sure, both of them had many fans around the world. Are uh, congratulating your uh, observation on uh, ah, Bacano's a thing or two. Card. He's a special Great guy. Player. Yeah, I'm a big fan of his, and uh, he won the Montenegro event not not too long ago. He's always playing great, um, but that's really helpful if you can add little things like that in the chat for other people watching. I'm sure that would be appreciated. So he makes the point. We like making points. Make some structure. You want to increase the assault course, the obstacle course, which your opponent has to pass through in order to get home safely. So the more we can complicate that journey. And you know, it's interesting, and, and we can observe here, I know Victor well, I've known him for a long time, see him play a lot, commentate on a lot of his matches, but seemingly in the last six months, nine months, he's got, got into the habit of shaking. And yeah, he does. <laughs> and it, it, I don't recall that he used to be that way. Now he, he's just... Uh, He'll burn his entire delay shaking. <laughs> yeah, well, he's obviously found his inner peace of uh, <laughs> wait, waiting for the moment that's called upon to release the dice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everyone's got their own quirky style. and well, it's like I always tease him, and, and I think this is case. Steve mm -hmm. Sachs is like that. He's yeah. left-handed, he's shaking up, and it's like he... He kind of drops shakes, them, shakes, doesn't he? Gotta, <laughs> yeah, and he's got to hear the right sound or something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he's waiting for the right... Yeah. So, uh, okay, so it's actually close making the two point, but I think the seven point looks really natural. And uh, then you've got this beautifully efficient priming structure. 
Okay, you leave the two, but he needs four, two, five, two, six, two to make points on the other side. Six, five makes the three point. And now he's in great shape to cover and equalize. Actually, he has a slightly better structure once he's equal equalized, but he's not on roll. That's fantastic. That's nice. You now definitely you advance the, the anchor, yeah. You step up with the anchor. That's the, the biggest improvement you can make in the position generally is to improve the anchor or the back checkers. And here he's done that. So Vic really needs to split if you can. Put pressure on the blot of the back and get out of this yeah. priming structure. Not Chris really. might feel like he has something here. I was surprised uh, Victor went h6 there. I, think I, he, I thought he would have dropped to the 11. Yeah, interesting. Just didn't want to leave the extra numbers. Right. But I think Chris might... Yeah, there you go. He has got something here. Got some threats like 5-3, make the 5 point, any 5. And Vic's kind of stuck in the corner. It's really risky for him to split and try and get into this race. So I think we'll see... But it's actually here. a big take. Again, we'll cheat and look at XG. Oh, we let but this one slide. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's got to be a take because nothing's really happened yet. I mean, you know, look at his front position. It's a lot of this. potential, but it's right. Nothing's not happened. Yet right, nothing's really happened yet. Oh, he did send it. Thought okay. he was rolling. Okay, yeah. Victor snap. Snaps it. <laughs> snap it up. <laughs> of course, he had had time to contemplate that while Chris was contemplating sending it. So. Yeah. So I think you should just play clean here. Make the ten play eight seven. Um, good, we got another one in just in yeah. time. Wow, they're fast on the transcription. <laughs> I don't know, Eddie. Uh, Phil was actually going to be on commentary uh, stream two this morning or early afternoon, and he started that, but apparently he was feeling ill, and uh, I don't think it's anything serious. Uh, but just asked to uh, get someone else to. To yeah, fill that slot. So I put Mark Dixon on the spot a bit there, like, well, and, but, but he's gone over. He I think he's got such a fantastic too. voice for commentary, yeah, and, and Justin, he loves it. And I'm, I think him and Justin yeah. will uh, have a fair amount of chemistry there. So yeah, I agree. They're both very enthusiastic. Um, so we saw what we predicted, which he was going to split or try and run, get out of that primary structure as fast as possible. So with the four six, he he went immediately. Now Chris is thinking, right, how do I? keep this last back checker in and the best way is to come down with two checkers you can see then you get four builders to make the five point and make a solid five prime consecutive so, four or five so this is yeah this is free. this is not the right approach this is kind of a panic it's kind of saying like oh you're done so maybe i can hit the other checker but he's given up all that priming potential and um yeah he's lost a step there so he won't be too happy with that play it seemed very natural just to break the midpoint i think people have a a thing for hanging on to the midpoint a bit too long you know you want to activate these checkers get them into valuable positions yeah and i guess a, a lot of people and i'm as guilty as any we we get conditioned early on that you know don't give up the midpoint don't give up the midpoint and like you say sometimes uh, we sit on it too long yeah yeah i think that's one of those rules of thumb that people kind of take too far um all right so he's already thinking about the recube Again, I like his habit of just stopping, using some time, evaluating the position. Where am I at? What are the good numbers? What's going to happen? You know, am well, I threatening to That's one thing improve? I've always taken to heart. Uh, Kit Woolsey has said at some point in time that, you know, every role is another opportunity to double. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. At well, least, Kit's brilliant. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, here you are. Yeah. But there is nothing really happening here. Even if he rolls 4-5 and hits that second checker, okay. That's great, but he might just come in and it's still quite a long way home. Well, it's probably not true. 4-5 is actually really good, isn't it? It's like the, the nuts. Um, but he still has to escape that back checker. And Chris has an anchor. So, people rolling in. Roland Herrera. Yeah, no market loses. Okay. Okay, yeah, simple play. Just play safe. Don't leave anything. Focus on escaping the last back man. You're up 22 pips in the race. All you have to do is get that last back checker safely with the other guys, and you'll be on your way home. Or five. Out or slot. Mm -hmm. I think it's just going to come out. Does duplicate yeah, the nothing, four. Nothing safe either way. Nice so. to duplicate the four, and that third checker back is very inefficient sitting on the anchor. So, And you're pressurizing the blot as well, actually. Right. So if he rolls something like 6-4 and wants to run, well, he can't now. So yeah, good play. So any any two will hit, I think. Oh. That's not great. Makes the ace. 
Yeah. Makes the ace and reinforces the ace. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's awkward because he could just, the natural play would be to break the midpoint and then play one to the ace. But wow, he quickly recognizes that he wants the midpoint because he wants the contact on the block. That was a really good play because it's horrible to play a third checker to the ace point like this. Um, but if this forces Chris to clean up the block and keeps the outfield control. Now he's going, what, 11 and 4, perhaps? Maybe he just slots. Uh, yep. I mean, that's the way yeah. to get it done, isn't it? I mean, you just put it there. A four is kind of good for him anyway. This is, how is this going to help you contain the guy? You know, you're 40 pips down. You need to do something. You've got the anchor, and he's got a dead checker on the ace point. Uh-oh. Well, now he's going to feel more confident about <laughs> containing him. Because <laughs> he could jump out now with 6-5 or something from the back and really have full outfield control. Victor's, uh, he would seen, love a 6-2. seen two. enough of those fives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's rolled a couple of those, hasn't he? Not great. All right. So still just... How many builders can I get for the five point? If you came down with both checkers, you get another builder. So he should have pushed there a bit more. Play that a bit fast, actually. He was only leaving, what, two numbers? Um, so yeah, I would have looked, but oh, another awkward five, but he's got everybody home. Yeah, Chris wants to see a four, two, double two. If he can just fill in that five point, then he's. Everybody's home, but the. Uh yeah, the remaining son is in a foreign country. <laughs> <laughs> Would you jump out from the back with both of them here? Certainly a consideration, huh? Yeah, I would, because you just want to cover, like, 4-6 is one of his best numbers, right? And you cover this 14-point um, tremendously. Gives, uh, a few more. Wow, well, another double another five. Another double five. But it uh, gives him even more containment. Right. But now, now the Victor's board just there after that double five is weak and crunched. Chris is really free to sort of do whatever he likes to try and contain this checker. Um, but we'll probably see him make the best uh, coverage play. 12 which is, and 14 maybe, huh? Yeah, 12 and 15. Oh, just this is a builder for the five point. Yeah, 12 isn't a builder for the five point, so that makes sense. Yeah, he makes the natural play of the coverage, but you actually right. want the pressure because he's going to step up with a four. So you want you want another man aimed at the five point. And actually, if you get hit, it's not that bad because you just come back in now. There's no threats. Wow, that's terrible. Yeah. So now he can actually slot. He can slot the five. He can slot the the eight. He yeah, can he do can anything. Do anything now. He Victor might even think about two, hitting, but that wouldn't be the right approach. His home so I would just slot the five point. Is that terrible? No, he's not going to be too thrilled with hitting you. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think you just do that and you just try and make it. Um, yep. Just force your way into the good position as there's no risk. Actually, getting it is a good thing. That's what you said. Yep, absolutely. Okay, so he didn't go for it, but it's understandable. Just being a bit shy. But you've really got to recognize the inefficiencies, the weaknesses in your opponent's position and um, exploit them fully. However horrible that sounds. Well, <laughs> it's exactly right. I mean, you have to seize the opportunity when it's presented to you. Yeah. Know? I mean, backgammon's a game of thin margins. Yeah, really thin margins. And it's all about moments, about recognizing, oh, I can get away with something here, I can do what I want to do here, or maybe I can't do anything I want to do because my opponent's position is so strong. Yeah, and I'm it's so obvious here. I mean, it, it's important to be looking at both sides of the board at all times. Now, in this case, Victor's yeah, no complete side you, of the board is nothing much to look at. But. Every checker has a value contribution to the position. Look at this place, so cool. You break the nine point to get another builder. Come on, you can see this one, Chris. Yeah, it's just unnatural. It feels weird to leave all the blots, but you get... Is that five builders you would have got for the five point? And again, you get lots of return Absolutely hits. Absolutely correct, too. So. Yeah, so that was another one. You can see that the point six apart on the three point to the nine point, they don't work and well he together. He has to move up. And, uh, yeah, he's happy to roll a four open now. Open season Yeah. Uh, for attack by Chris. Of course, he'll hit with everything. But you see, he would have made the five point. Exactly. Potentially. All right, so big roll coming up. Where does he play the five? To the seven? seven? Yeah, then he doesn't have to break the seven to get to make it. Keeps the prime. That makes sense. I like that. And you get the six to cover as well. Yeah, I th I'm pretty sure he'll play that. No, no. Bit shy. Does All right, maybe he's thinking. He's thinking about six five. Double hit. You know? Yeah, he's thinking about six five. But All right, we'll see. So even a two here is good, right? Because then he's threatening to jump out. Yeah, that's a dance. Or a fan, or a timeout, <laughs> or whatever. Oh, the one is really good, because a two, then you'd have to break the seven. Okay, now yeah, you can play, play the three. Right, this point is not doing nothing in the structure now, and now he needs a two to be at the edge of the prime. 
All right. So we'll see Chris try and try and make the six prime. That's not going to do it, but he'll slot the back. The, oh, he might go just go to, to the, the five. five. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's better. Good spot. Then he doesn't have to leave any shots. Nice safe builder. And he still gets a shot on two six, which is the joker. Uh, lots of people supporting okay. the players. Okay, that's the natural progression of this position, right? So now can he roll it forward? Yeah, he plays this one, so he keeps the board. So it's normally an awkward double five. I was going to say normally it's an awkward double five, <laughs> double four in these positions. They're awkward. They still leave you in really good shape, but you give something. Like now any one, especially the one six. Wow, it's amazing how often that happens. It is... You know, and, and it's funny. Ooh, the roll! It was rolling, wasn't it? And the six was down. You know, it happens so often, and of course, it's yeah. rigged online. It's right? rigged. But oh, it, life is rigged, Bill. You know, you, know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think you told me this. <laughs> All right, so he has to leave it again. Horrible 6-3. So now one is actually really big. Okay. And now he can leave Dang. a double shot on something like 6-5, six, 6-4. Yeah, six, yeah. Actually, no, not 6-4, sorry. But 6-5. All right, that's perfect. Okay, so you can clean it up. Oh, he takes one off. That's aggressive. I like it. I like it. I would take one off. The thing about the crunch board is just you can't really affect your winning chances. You're just going to win so many games anyway. So you, you change the gammons. You win more gammons. Great. And that makes the equation more valuable. The total value higher. All right. So one off and men to the ace point. All to keep the a five ace. point board. Yeah. No, oh. You're not going to gammon him. Oh, look at this. Nice computer play. It takes three off. All Oh, I actually really like that play. Because he can't stay yeah, with two, he, five, he two, six. No yeah, right. He can't hit you. He can't win. You just push. It's kind of what I was saying. There's no risk. You just take him off. Let's see if he goes for it. I think he'll find this one, actually. Yep. There you go. Oh, I like predicting what they're going to do when they do it. <laughs> great, great play by Chris. It's really good. Um, and he got the two, three. So now he has some gamma chances, right? Exactly. Even like two, one or double one. 6-2. Um, Can't be too creative here. Yeah. And Vic won't be feeling great. I mean, he's had two games where he's rolled all these double fives. He's crunched his board. He hasn't really had a chance. And he's playing superbly and little to show. For. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're both settling into the match well. These early stages. Early doors. And by this stage of the week, I mean, they've got six eight matches behind them wow it's uh yeah you know they've they've been there it's not going to uh it's a lot and, of back and doubtless <laughs> they've been trailing at some point yeah for sure doubtlessly they've led and lost the lead so i mean you, you just can't uh, it's early in the match you can't get too excited one way no. or the other just uh, just you should never really get excited one way or the other until the end because you don't know it out, you know right you don't know how this story will unfold and what what it's all going to mean um, but if they lose this match, it's such a big loss. You're not in the final of the oh, undefeated, and, and you go and, you way know, back. I was to talking the... to someone. This is huge. And then the match tonight is incredible equity. Scene, yeah. Right. If you win, you're in the final. The if final you lose, guaranteed. You're gonna play like four or five more matches. Yeah. I mean, the equity swing is just mind blowing. Right. Yeah, you're halfway to be world champion if you win that one. You get the money locked up. Happy days. And you get the day off, like you and said. And you get the day off. Go to the... It's almost like... A, go spend the day on the beach or something. Yeah. So 4-1. All right. Good hit with the 5. It's optional. Now that he's leading, he doesn't actually have to hit on the A's. But it's the standard play to break the connection. Stop someone developing. Improving with a 6. He's got some bad 6s from the bar now, like 4-6, four, 5-6. Four, six, six, you can see. 3-6. Two, three, good play, you make a point. Turn a liability into an asset. Always a reasonable decision. This hits and covers, that's lovely. Just what I was saying, like you want to turn liabilities into assets. So usually when you have a blot on the ace point, you want to cover it straight away. Yeah. And this hits and covers and leaves the man outside. So that's going to be, you know, really powerful because he's going to come in from the bar. He's still going to have the blot outside. He might dance. Um, so I think we'll see him make the right play here. It looks well, natural, you know, it's, it? it's interesting to me. I mean, I've seen Chris make some superlative great plays, 
but then maybe a few questionable plays too. He's not playing a. Yeah. It's early on. He's not playing a superb PR. He'll work it down. But it's. Uh, We're all human. The game is really difficult. You know, yeah. we have these moments. I say he's he's made some brilliant plays that I, I didn't even yeah. envision. But then he staggered a couple of times as well. You know? Yeah, the consistency I think is something that people struggle with. And um, that's one thing I've, you know, Victor. You know, more so than most. Yeah, he's so consistent. Right. I mean, you look at, you know, Mochi Michi, Victor Sander, yourself, people like that. They play so consistently. Others are capable of playing at that number, but they don't do it with the consistency. Yeah, very true. And we actually saw the sequence that I kind of predicted. Well, it was good about hitting and covering. He danced and he got the chance to pick up the second checker. He did pick it up. And now you can see he's making real progress. Vic would love a five here just to settle everything down, get out of this blitz that's being There's created. Boom. Five. And he gets to five too. But he, you see, he doesn't he immediately hit because he knows how valuable. No, <laughs> I, I don't think he's going to hit because he sees how valuable the anchor is. Okay, well, he does hit. He, he is. I think you might but put he, it back though. He's, uh, I mean, you know, you're the so happy. of the dice. <laughs> you know, he gets the anchor that he wants, but he immediately right. gives it up. Yeah, you're praying for this anchor. <laughs> but you can see if you just make the anchor and come down, you've got a really good chance of priming and containing these two back checkers. And as you own the advanced anchor, you're in the race safely with the, you know, you're under no threat. The defense is fixed. Now, if you just focus on the other side, you're going to be in, in much better chance and you're not going to lose gamma. And I think. So you can see that hitting wins slightly more games, but it's almost the same. But hitting loses almost 10% more gammons, and that's why it's falling to second place. So if we were just trying to win the game, this would be the best play. And you'll often see players make the play that wins the most games, but they don't realize how much the gammons are uh, at stake or influencing the position. Mm -hmm. Sorry, impacting the position. And here you can see he's right under, under pressure again to perform. Let's see what you can find. Yeah, happy with that five. Yeah. But you called it. He's shaking right down to the end of the delay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's incredible. And it seems like the more it's back. intense the position is, yeah. or the oh, situation is, he's calmly he waiting. More, you know? Okay. <laughs> well, he seems to be doing very well. I might I might adopt this shaking. <laughs> you could lull your opponent to sleep and maybe hypnotize them a little bit. Oh, dear. It's like in a number of years ago, I won the Michigan Masters jackpot, which is a big deal in the yeah States. well done and uh the guy i'm playing he got he almost ran out of time you know and he yeah. was talking later about he didn't understand and he said i'm a fast player i said yeah <laughs> you're a fast player but you're the slowest shaker <laughs> on the earth i mean he'd go through his delay every and you know for a 17 point match or something you lose a second or two bank every move. every move yeah it adds up that's funny so we saw Chris, he was thinking about cubing, but he had four checkers back, so not enough, still a bit of work to do. He hits loose, and now he's going to be thinking about it even more, threatening to make the five. But he is leading 4-1. Okay, they're stopping for the transcriber. Okay. Again, I think that's a negative. I don't think the player should be affected or it, like distracted by a transcriber. Maybe better in these high-stakes matches not to have that. I would... I don't be, disagree. I, would, I wouldn't be very happy to keep getting stops in in this particular match i would probably ask very politely if they would remind <laughs> just scooch out of the room and leave me in peace but i understand it's great for the viewers and yeah the viewers just love it yeah so they're just catching up and really a, a number of the players oh he's got the position wrong because he doesn't have two on the bar so this is going to uh, take a second it's going to take a second yeah there's a blender box jason dortle is uh in the house. Now I give him credit, and I believe obviously missed a roll here or something, but uh, he's one excellent transcriber. Oh yeah, he's done oh, it's very, so difficult to very do well it. through the uh, through the week. Yeah, he's really got the position wrong. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I'm going to grab another glass of water. Would you like something? No, I'm fine. Thank okay. you, Sebastian. You like yes. You good, yeah? We can... Yeah. 
Yeah, it's interesting. I, I invited uh, Sebastian to join me today because I thought it appropriate with Chris and the match with Victor that we have a you know a British perspective, British uh, co-commentator to the match, and it's it's worked out supremely. So uh, very happy with that. All righty, how are we get on? No, they haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> They're going to have to go back in time. Yeah, this is a... Uh... I think he missed a roll, or he missed a couple of rolls. Maybe he missed a sequence. Wow, he's gone really far back. Oh, I like all these comments in the chat. Yeah, it's always... I find it so... It Cube. interests me, for one. Yeah. And it does, uh, you know, you... Can kind of include the viewers yeah it's brilliant more of an interactive sort of thing and i think it uh, people love it you know yeah fantastic and if you know occasionally people will ask questions or whatever and we can uh, respond to them they they like that feedback and hear their name or whatever you know <laughs> make five then send it yeah jeff i think that's the right approach at the score but for money i think he would have been doubling Uh, maybe not actually. I mean, he still has four men back. Yeah, it's probably a little, little thin. Yeah, at some point they may have to just uh, give up the XG give and up carry on game and pick it, it up on the yeah. game. And then I'm not against getting rid of the XG. I don't think we really need it, but I understand. He's just going to edit the position and just go from there. Um, so sorry for the slight delay and pause for everybody waiting. I can assure you it's much more frustrating for the players sitting there who just want to get on with things. And they also want to forget that they're being streamed and that the world is watching every play they make. Well, it, and that's the thing. I mean, and, and these guys are seasoned veterans and so forth. And, yeah. You know, you get the point. You don't, you don't mind being streamed. You, no. don't, you don't even think about the camera or anything else. But no. this sort of thing is... This is a little different. Distracting. Yeah. Know? And usually you're just being streamed in some quiet corner somewhere. You don't have, you know, desks yeah. set up for commentary with microphones and the whole professional production that you guys have got me, running me, here. Okay, okay, I got it started. We I got, was going to say I might have Arda go in there. Yeah, we got somewhere. So he rolls. So he makes the five and finds a three, which is down. Nice play, duplicating all the ones. Not a natural three. I think he'll play 24-21. That seems like a more. Yeah, you well, go. Matt Reclatus makes a good point that he could just. Oh yeah. Wait for the next game. He can go back and do yeah. it from the video. Matt always makes good points. Yeah, Don't you Matt, love? Brilliant guy. I love that man. Right. So does he cube now? This was the prediction in the chat. No, he didn't even really think about it. Okay. Do we see anything? Fair enough. Well, he's probably. It seems to me he's going to want to clean up some of these blots. He's definitely going to want to clean up. Uh, is he made because of them? Yeah, I would have made the 16 point actually, but this is nice to have a spare on the mid. He'll think about hitting, but he doesn't need to hit if he thinks he has a cube on the dances. Doesn't need to pay any extra risk. Just let him dance and then send the cube. But if he feels like he has to force the position to improve it to reach a cubing position, then he'll go for the hit and hope for a dance, and then he'll double that way. Let's see what he finds. That's a f so then he makes, yeah, if he f plays this five, he makes a 16. But this looks a bit awkward. A bit stuck there, not so flexible. All right, Vic praying for an entry. Any four, but especially a two. Nope. That's Does he cube now? Oh, look, the chat went mad. They all wanted to double. <laughs> now it's a pass, so he missed the cube. Okay, he he's just... Another. It's very strange to roll here because it can't be too good. Uh, you're just giving him a chance to roll a two and then you have nothing. So mm -hmm. you're paying a lot of risk for no gain. Correct. So it doesn't make sense not to cube here. And if you're playing on, well, if you're playing on too good, I guess you feel like you could get away with this and then you could cube if he rolls a two. That would be the logic, but it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So let's see. Vic's got a free roll here. They would have been out of this game. All right, four is probably enough. Okay. Is he going to cube? I think maybe he cubes now. Now, no, nope. he doesn't. <laughs> wow, not even wondering. It's a bit, bit strange not to cube this. Bit strange. Okay, but always understandable. The game is very difficult, 
Can't blame anyone for any decision that they make. We're all just trying our best to make sense of it. I think it's that and maybe... Uh... Yeah, make the eight point. Let's make the eight. Uh, so that's what we were just doing. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, we've done it both ways, but... Okay, all good. We got it sorted. Tara yeah, just so confirmed. Tara explaining they, uh, I guess they went back in the roll log to the, to they knew where they were right and went play from here and uh, reconstructed the plays. So, uh, all's well. Yeah. Okay, another free roll here for a two. Wow, he gets the free roll and he's going to double hit. He's going to unstack the six with the block outside. Okay, I wouldn't break the 10. I would unstack the now, 6. I don't uh, like breaking points. I like making points. And this leaves 4 blots instead of 3 blots and no structure. But so it's very close. The, uh, very close. How shall we say? <laughs> it's still a very Chris good play. Chris has let all of the opportunities pass by. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he could have won this game already. He had enough value in the position just to cash it, as we say, just to double pass. The position was worth 1 point if he doubled. But it's worth a lot less now. And now... Well, but this is difficult to clean up. Five. Yeah, it makes the five. Lo leaves lots of returns, but still, it'll still Victor, be favorite ten turn. Yeah, Victor still needs an anchor at some point in time. Yeah, he's going to need a four or two here. He's going to have another brother back there to <laughs> make the anchor. <laughs> but he'll be very happy he got the five point in his structure now, and Chris has still got kind of five checkers back, and no real threats, and he anchors. Yeah, <laughs> Cecilia says, why no QB? He hardly slept last night. Okay, that's fair enough. Seth knows him well. Yeah, maybe he's just feeling like ball one up. Maybe he needs more uh, to double. But I think he just should have taken a bit of time there and just realized what a predicament Vic was in and what kind of position he was putting him in by cubing. Um, it's a really horrible position to take. So, But it's good for us because we get to see how this game develops. Very yeah. interesting position. Okay, he went for 6-5. I can completely understand that, leaving so many returns. He should have hit on the bar. He would have been missed, and you can see the gain of making the 7-point and the solid 4-prime would have been huge, trapping 3-back checkers. But as you've just got hit on that point, psychologically, it's yeah. kind of difficult to give it again, and then you're back on the bar against a 4-point board. So I understand why he went for that. Let's see if... He okay, that's a nice one. Just makes the 4-point, but he's going to think about improving the anchor. Yeah, I think that's the idea. You've already got the anchor, and the other one doesn't play very well. There's nothing threatening the four point. Yeah, and he doesn't have uh, much ammunition on the other. Right, but he's in a really awkward position now. Right, he's got these inefficient two points together, no spares. How is he going to clear all these these points? It starts like this, giving some shots. So a seven, and a f and a three, maybe even a five. He hits in the board. Yeah, it's a very awkward position for Chris, actually. Oh, that's uh, a nice one. Bez Bez, round the corner. Yeah, Lovely. Yeah. But he'll be feeling happy with his 18-point security blanket insurance anchor. And he'll pop another man there. So 5-4, he'd love to roll. Double 5 is good. 4-1 is a nice one. Five three. It just brings some men in. You'd love to hit with a five. Oh, could you hit and come down? Is that big? What would you play here, Bill? Maybe the hit and come down. Yeah, I like it. Computer likes it. Okay. Which makes us feel good, doesn't it? <laughs> hey Tony. How you doing? Oh, you're good. You're a star. You should be in the stream. Question. You look amazing. Do your thing. Yeah, isn't it? He's got stars. Are you still playing? Class. <laughs> Best yeah. of luck. Take it down. All right, so can he find this? I think you'll find it. Okay, that's sort of the natural idea of just coming in, but how do you progress the position from here? Yeah, it's uh, not much flexibility. It's really difficult to, to, yeah, to make progress from here. So you hit at the edge. It's annoying because you don't have a spare, but making the 10 point is really key because you're trapping the 18 point, making this very difficult for Chris to release checkers. And you've got the anchor, so if you do get hit, you just come back in. Yeah, I think he'll make this play once he sees it. 
This looks good. You've got another point. And then you cover with a 5 or a 7 or a 10. Yep, really good play. Nice one. You can see it loses a few more gammons, like 5% extra gammons, but it's it's got enough extra winning chances. And a dance. Yeah, and that's a huge swing, because double 5 would have just moved all the checkers from the 18 to the mid and played beautifully. So you really gained a lot there from, from hitting. Great play. Yep, gets okay. the cover. Makes come in. That. And come in, huh? And now you can see how his position really took a step forward in strength and value. And the alternative didn't leave him set up to do that in any way. All right, Chris really wants to come in. Okay. Oh, and the four is a bit awkward. He's going to have to go to the 14. It's kind of forced. He's not going to leave the blot on the seven point. There's no reason to do that. Just give the guy a five. Well, no, he's doing it. Okay, fair enough. I would not have done that. Because now the guy really wants to get off the anchor, and he has a perfect excuse to do it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whereas you can see if you left a two, he'd have to break the midpoint, leaving lots of blots and lots of return shots. Um, oh, he has a cube here. Now Pull the, one down. It's already the, a cube. Uh, cube so this would, this would not be a cube for money. the other way. Don't fault him for not cubing here, because this is definitely not a cube for money. But four one down. Yeah, it's got enough. Oh, maybe it's not that bad of a cube for money. All right, yeah, not all the role that he wanted. There. Wow, look at that play. He's supposed to give the sixes and the ones to give the get the pressure on the block. That's such a cool move. I don't think I would have found that one. Did you see that one, Bill? Yeah. After he pointed nice it out. Nice idea, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. It's really clever. All right, so he got hit. Bad sequence. But he's back in. Force move. Chris will be hoping for a five here just to pop that back checker out to safety and come around the corner. Ah, uh, two one is horrible. Has to play thirteen and five. Yep, yeah, there's nothing else. Now the ones are duplicated. Okay. Vic wants to split yeah. with a two or come out with a five as well. Yeah. Maybe level one. Four one is good. Six five is good. Victor would love to attack. Wow, him. that's such a good They're roll. A great roll. Now, this is going to be interesting. If Critch dances, which he does not, so we we don't need to look at the hypothetical. <laughs> it no longer exists. Yeah. But, uh, There's not much going on here. They both have a four-point board, but he's going to feel much better about this position now. He's got a dead checker. He's got two men trapped behind the four prime. He might just send this, and he might just pass. It's a small no-double. Huge take. But yeah, it's, but it's... Uh, Maybe it's a bit scary in a sense. Yeah, he gives it. Yeah, I, li I actually like it. Pressuring Chris Snap takes, sending a message for the rest of the match. But you can see there's nothing's really developed yet. Um, you usually wait for him to leave a blot or a shot or some way that you're threatening to, to improve. That's just going to come in, and then you wait for him to break a point. Oh, he could make the make eight. Yeah, the good eight, spot. Which blocks uh, good the spot. Deuces. Yeah, that's a really good play. Yeah, you make the prime. Feels horrible to give the six, but then you really... Yeah, it feels horrible to give it, but it's great to block it. Yeah, those checkers on it's the really point. great to block it. This is definitely not the right approach. Um, he's just looking at it. He's not going to make this play. Well, that's uh, Victor's an extremely disciplined yeah. player. Yeah, he's just Very looking at thorough, it. You know? well, that's how you have to be. You want to search for value mm -hmm. in every play. Yeah, he puts it back. I think you'll end up making the 8. It's a really nice blocking point. But you completely understand if he goes for this as well. No shots against the four-point board. The thing about this way well, is Chris that... Chris has to play next roll, right? Yeah. I mean, he has very little flexibility. A That's true. A lot of awkward numbers. Yeah, so. you're right. Yeah, he's got to break something. I really like the 8-point, though. Because you just too. pin in the 2-point the checker. Okay, if he hits you with a 6, doesn't matter. You've still got him primed. You just come in, but if he doesn't hit you with a six, he's under a lot of pressure because he wants to pop out with a five, really. And if you just play into the three point, then he's quite happy actually just run off the anchor with fives and sixes. But he makes the natural play. I would say this is like a natural play in this type of position uh, for a human. <laughs> for a human. <laughs> but we can see the but power Victor of the is eight somewhere point. Somewhere in between. Yeah, you know? well, we know he's part AI and part <laughs> machine. <laughs> But in moments like this, where 
getting hit feels really bad. Oh, yeah. Making safe plays is is natural. So he goes for it. Four two. What's he gonna okay, do here? So oh, shooting dear. at something. I think he's gonna. Yeah, he's gonna have to play this. Oh, I, I was actually gonna say he might do that, but I really hoped he wouldn't. Oh. Yeah, you okay. can't do that. You just have to get off the 18. So they both consecutive uh, large blunders on Yeah. by the computer. Yeah, it's a difficult position. It's complicated. But he's dead if he rolls a two here. And maybe he should have doubled there. I mean, I think I would have doubled that position. Any two. Future awkwardness. Uh, so he runs off the anchor now. And again, Chris is still, uh, he's got to play, right? And it uh, doesn't, oh, that's a nice. Wow, you can switch. So he switches switch and plays and 15. Step up. Yeah, that's a really good one. That's the problem with leaving the anchor is you leave yourself vulnerable to be attacked. Um, but yeah, I would have cubed before that roll. Did you notice, was it, did they show whether it was? It, they didn't show it, but we can see now on the errors, it looks like it was a big cube. But I think you could see that it was a big cube. I mean, you had the threat, the threats of rolling a two were enormous. And Chris's position, <coughs> really difficult to get out of. All right, it's a big swing here. Shake, 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 find the four. Did he find it? No. All right, so he can hit with a five, cover with a two. Still a long way from anything happening with recubing, especially when you're leading 4-1, you're going to need the position to be a lot better than normal. This is not a great number, but he gets off the anchor. Very volatile <coughs> game we've got Hugely here, Bill. Hugely volatile <laughs> game. Uh, yeah. Every role is changing, changing the position dramatically. It's just, you make hay while your opponent's on the bar, right? You want to get the job done, get all the difficult stuff done where he's busy, dancing and occupied and has to come in that's a great play well found really nice play from chris you can see the gain on the dances is just enormous and freeing a back checker huge progress right so he needs a, well, a five but a four would be game over really yeah yeah he found it no five <laughs> come out <laughs> yeah he just has to come out and if he if Chris dances, he'll just play on too good because he can pick up the second checker. He'll be at no risk of losing. Um, if Chris comes in, I think it's just double pass. You know what strikes me with a couple of these early games, this being one of them, they've been so complicated, so involved, so extended. I mean, we've been playing over an hour. They've used a third of their time, and it's four. I mean, yeah, it's very intense. It's very intense. It's, it's complicated. All right, so let's see what happens. So Dancer will just see him roll on. There's no risk. He'll just play for the gammon. He can just cash any time from here if he needs to. You know, if Chris ever comes in and anchors with a two, he'll just cube him, cube the him then. Eight, the eight. I would hit both. I would just hit well, both. Well, you can't hit both. I was overlooking that. Yeah. I was just adding another builder, but you're absolutely correct. Yeah, I think you just go for it. Um, he could roll double two. Yeah, you would be sad, but... Still not that sad. And think how happy you'd be on all the other numbers. It's just so. going to leave a mark. Yep. Doesn't get the one that he wanted, but he'll bring in another builder to the six point, and then he'll get a twelve from the from the fourteen. That will give him double six. Right. Double fours blocked. Gives him double. Uh, double yeah, four. it would have been huge if he. Had, yeah, you're right. Double fours exactly. and double threes. If he had moved up to the. 14. Okay, that leaves a few too many blots for me. I wouldn't have left the double two again. I would have played twelve six, but uh, small things. But. Uh, <laughs> Well, that, that's backgammon, though, like yeah. we said. Small margins. Yeah, and he would have covered now. Um, so he's going to make the eight, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no. Wow, Max Builder. Yeah, it was moved to the, to the bar, I would think. Okay, I actually like that. Nine, yeah, I like nine. that. You get an extra builder. Okay. You get an extra builder. And there's no risk. Again, He's just gonna, he can always win this game with a cube at any moment. So just push for the gammon. But yeah, this is sort of the more natural idea. Hey, he puts it back. It looks a bit weird. If you start with 12 to 7, then you find 8 to 4. There you go. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is also... Oh, I kind of like that as well. Yeah, this is... Uh, yeah, yeah. Supreme. I mean, there's no risk, so you just kind of <coughs> do what you what you want to do. And uh, Chris is being very accommodating, dancing for yeah. half a dozen rolls in a row here. And if he closes out three checkers, there's actually 5% backgammons as well. Mm -hmm. um, oh, sorry about playing on too good. He cubed, yeah, of course. That was silly. I was thinking that Victor had the cube. My mistake. Apologies there. 
<laughs> he doesn't have a choice. He has to keep rolling to the, com the, the completion. Yeah, it's because the okay. the glare on the screen. It looks yeah, like there's, no, it there's nothing there. All right, good closeout. So he'll be he'll be feeling happy now. Still a bad double six, double five. So he'll try to avoid these by putting him out on the six point, playing to the uh, yeah, oh, on the five actually. But he said they need a brighter cube, and and part of it it, it kind of blends into the frame. <laughs> it does. It blends straight in. I couldn't see it, but it's all good. I'm sure our astute listeners would have picked up on that and know what's going on. He made the play I would have made. Man off. All right. 7% backgammons now with this structure. It's like the perfect bear off for backgammons. Because you're going to keep the board closed as long as possible. Prediction after this game, they're going to take a break. Okay, good prediction. I think that's reasonable. They've been at it a bit over an hour. It's uh, the most intense of circumstances. Uh, in the main yes yeah it's the furthest chris has ever gotten as well so they're both living this experience for the first time you know and, and victor's the betting favorite not only in this match but yeah. in the tournament at this point so well that's not a surprise yeah okay so two to one three to two is not much in it the more backgammons if you play two to one. This is cleaner in case you roll like a big double. All right, Chris, really just praying to come in here. Jeff gave us an update. Frigo's leading 6-4 in the other... Uh... Oh, okay. I'm sure there's another brilliant match going on. And you've got Justin and Mark Dixon commentating over there. So go and check that out. Fantastic. All right, shake, shake. Okay. He'll be happy with that. Yeah, keeps, it, keeps the five-point board. Yeah. It's yeah, funny if no you see reason if, not to do it. <laughs> if you were just trying to win the game, you would clear the five. Exactly. That wins more games, but only a little bit more games. But almost no downside. That way it. you allow your opponent to enter with double five and come in quicker, have no chance to hit you. You can see you may leave some shots here with six one, five one. There you go. On the next roll. But he's still okay. And he's really in no risk of losing with Chris's board. <laughs> They're all getting bored with Victor's <laughs> twelve second shakes. You know? Well there what'd you say might happen? Yeah, double five. <laughs> so he's got dreams of saving the gammon, but as we can see it's ninety nine point four percent. Which in backgammon terms is about fifty fifty. <laughs> they <laughs> he'll either save it or he won't. So. His, his, his dreams are going to be a nightmare though, I think. It would be an epic save though, I it mean. It would be an epic save. I've seen worse. All right, he's not going to save it now. So we get to 5-4. Wow, I'm tired just sitting here with you, Bill. What ah, you? <laughs> it's exhausting. I don't know how they manage it. All right, he'll make okay. sure he saves. There oh, he gives go. him credit for saving the BG. It's very gentlemanly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to screw up and stay back here well i mean you might as well just see what the guy does i mean you don't lose anything i would let him just uh move it you know for his own his At, own sake uh, 10 p.m tonight we have the not only the undefeated uh bracket yeah. final between these two uh streamed matches winners but the super jackpot starts super jackpot well. starts. mr wilkinson is going i'll to be venture to roll some dice i hate to mention it but there was no hint of a break there they're just head down next I, game, I, I, not even I, a I, whisper I, they're just all game I, this is it i was wrong yeah. but, uh, but it was a good call i felt like it was reasonable yeah lots more action still to come all right double six so he makes a seven point and thinks about the last one hits of course on the four so he's off to a good start in this game. Gets hit back. No other six, really, except jumping out. Could slot the five point, but it's a bit much. And the race is really level now. Ooh. <laughs> you think, oh, I can hit, but he doesn't really want to break this 18 point. Maybe he just slots the four point. Comes in with a four. So that's the two. Ah, he hits. Never saw yeah, a bloody. It's a good walk, play. Yeah. Actually, the blots cover each other really well for the return shots. So you can see if he gets hit back, he has loads of numbers to, <laughs> to anchor or hit. I like Jeff's comment. 
<laughs> that Victor doing all the shaking, it might be bothersome, but I'm sure that's it makes a, a good very cocktail. good comment. <laughs> no doubt makes a fine mojito. We'll put some orders in. So did he dance? He got hit and he danced, and now he's thinking of cubing. And he has a cube. Great. A lot of people will never cube with just a, a one point board, but that's a fantastic cube. He sees the threats. Yeah, he can yeah. roll a three, a four, pick up the second man. Look at double five, double six, six five, these numbers that put two yeah, tickets on the bar. All that, plus, there's a, a wee bit of the psychology. Oh, yeah. It's just got gammon on a cube. Right. But he's not going to pass this. I mean, uh, nothing's happened. It's a really good cube. Yeah, now, easily now missed. Mal Malcolm Davis told at his Hall of Fame induction ceremony that uh there's a second jacoby rule okay oswald jacoby's wife had a jacoby rule and it was never double when you've not made another point in your home board right okay. right yeah i've heard that a few times but that's a mistake wow i did pass I did pass wow that's a really but big again, surprise i think that great cube a such a good cube. bit of uh, yeah. re reflection on a just got gammon on a two cube do i want i think you might be again? right bill i think you've called that fantastic cube they're just stealing a point really um, and that's a cube a lot of a lot of players wouldn't have given. They would have thought, oh, I can just improve a little bit. He's still going to enter. But that was the moment. Um, and he applied pressure. Really good play there. We expect nothing less, of course, but really good to see it in action. All right, so 6-4. And he spits. Replenishes the spare on the 8-point. We love having a spare on the 8-point. Mm-hmm. A lot of flexibility toward the bar and the, the interior points. Yeah. yeah. That allows you to develop, keep the structure. Double three is one of the best numbers, if not the best number. Two interval points, unstacks the heavy points and puts him on the bar. Four three, the best return. Double one, he'll nice, take. Nice. He'll play 23 and make the five. And then split. Yes, I got there first. Split. <laughs> yeah. Keep getting there first. <laughs> yeah, you got to split against the priming structures. Um, look to get out of there. I would have taken 6-5. That was a great number. 6-4, also good. Yeah, so he just runs to the mid. Escapes his own checker from the priming structure. He'll be happy with that. So Victor looking to hit or improve the anchor. 3-2, 6-5, 5-4. Something like this. That's a hitter. Really valuable to jump and escape a checker while hitting. Pushing your opponent back behind your structure. Wow, that's the response. Oh, he really wishes he had five to five. Yeah. Does he switch? No, doesn't need to. Not in a priming game. Yeah. He got a bit excited there. I wouldn't. He's looking wouldn't at it. Think he would split. Just uh, stepping how much up. Do you think? And you know Chris well. You know Vic very well. Is there an intimidation factor here? I don't know. I think there's a lot of respect between. Uh, the top players and people know that they play a lot and they're capable of playing very well so i think my, the main focus is on on yourself like mm -hmm. can i perform can i make the, d the best decisions can i be proud of my decisions regardless of the results you know am i happy with my play can i sleep with my plays <laughs> 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 for me that's the thing you know if i go to bed can i sleep with having made that play and either won or lost it doesn't matter what the result is so yeah, but the psychology, the the flow, like you're talking about, the momentum is is a big thing. It shifts continuously. It's very fluid. Well, I know, uh, and, and certainly probably not at this elite level that they're playing at, but so many times. I mean, you can see somebody he gets a bad roll. Yeah, and he checks out. Just you know, he's just feeling down. He's but right, and you just send a cube to him, and he drops it. Just, yeah, they've yeah. given up on the game. You can yeah, read that on people yeah, sometimes. Yeah. They don't want to have any part to play in the game anymore, and you just say, okay, then let's play the next one. <laughs> Give me this point. We'll yeah, there's on. a lot of bluffing, and there's a lot of reading your opponent that I think people, again, underestimate. Um, so he wrote a great number here. And a lot of people overlook that, as you say, and I always yeah. make the point. I think the best player from the intangible to the game perspective is Ray Fogler. I mean, he's just got the... Yeah, he's not the elite player, although he's working on his game. He's really, he's recording yeah. his matches and bringing his PR down considerably. Most people won't know him by his name. They'll know him by his 6-2 from the bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he cubed it slightly too good, but he, he'll be feeling good about getting a point after being 4-1 up. And now he's 6-4 down. So now 6-5. It gives the commentators a break sometimes. You don't have to say 2-6. You just say a Fogerland. A Fogerland. Okay. That's fair enough. <laughs> Everybody knows what you mean. Um, I 
Yeah, they and whoever this Marcel Yoakum is. is okay. Oh yeah, very strong German player. Yeah, and he's saying he has a feeling Chris is underperforming, and and Chris would probably agree with that at this moment. But even against uh, Trencher, yeah, in the two p.m. match yesterday, uh, Chris won, but you know he didn't play to the standards, and and Trencher played two point five or something, and he won. So Chris he just hasn't. I mean, he's here. I mean, don't take yeah. nothing away from him, right? But he just hasn't seemed to be quite on his stride, you know? Yeah, it's very difficult to play your A game all the time. And if you don't get a lot of sleep and play lots of matches, then uh, anything can happen. But, you know, it's a really difficult game. If it was easy, everyone would be playing perfectly and it'd be very boring. There'd be many more people here. <laughs> <laughs> But I think, uh, you know, we should promote the idea that anyone can win, really. There's just, you can make the best decisions you can, but really has no impact on the result most of the time. And, uh, well, it was kind of funny. <laughs> you know, Morton Hall, Megan Book, right? Yeah. And like of the top 20 favorites beginning 15. <laughs> they, they all lost. Round. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> and that's what we should be promoting. Right. Okay, great cube here. here. Really nice. Double hit. One man came in. High pressure cube. He just saw him pass the cube. Uh, love it. It's really good play. Got lots of threats. He can make the five point. He can make the two point on his head. He can just make the nine point. I mean, he's 50 pips up. And again, I mean, it's technically a correct double. And again, I think pressure, the intimidation and momentum yeah. sort of thing, Victor's going to try to capitalize. Yeah, I really like it. And he's going to pass again. Yeah. I mean, if he passed the last cube, he's definitely passing that one. Uh, so, uh, so really good cube I mean, play. That, that's coming increasingly obviously in this obvious in this match, and hopefully Chris uh, Chris can turn it around. Yeah. Oh, it's very exciting. I'm just going to pop to the the bathroom. Can I sub in the famous Blake Fleetwood here for a second? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can make a comment for me. Okay. Be back in a minute. So you were Good hoping time. they were going to take a break also. <laughs> <laughs> I was. Uh, okay, so. Kind of an interesting match to this point. Um, and Chris was up 4-0. Had... Um, you know, some things go his way early, but Victor seems to be much more, uh, I don't know, on game today. And and Victor and I are very good friends, and, and he has a focus and an intent and a desire um, that has been evident all week. And I know he's he's gotten to this point in the, uh, in the tournament, and I know he's been a... 15 minutes, perhaps, uh, an hour or so before the match. And then uh, Sander was over there telling him, you know, encouraging him, telling him what he needs to do, what he needs not do, uh, so forth and so on. And uh, so here we are. Okay, so uh, Chris has a 12-pip lead and uh, would like to see Victor miss that blot on the mid, but he doesn't, so he's going to have blots on both mids. Victor is as a result. Now Chris needs to respond. Aces will work. They make the bar, split the back, so nice shake. Deuces, make the four, and it's the fourth of your choice. You could slot the five. That's what you want to make next. It's it's exposed to two checkers either way. So I think you slot the five. Yeah. Okay. So now Chris needs to, to hit that. And does. 
And then he's going to, what will he do here? He could be really aggressive and play to the eight, or he could come out with it. He could come out to the 18. Coming out is correct with either, and it's a uh, very little differential. How we getting on? Oh, nice Pretty complicated nice, game. Nice, nice complicated game once, like, once again. <laughs> yeah, really intense. Yeah, it's not a back game because the race is even. It's just kind of like a holding game, almost like a mutual holding game with mm -hmm. deep anchors. Very strange structure. Um, so he'd love to run to the midpoint with like 6-4, but he'd also love to make the 5-point with like 5-1, five, 5-3. Five, See if he can make an improvement here. He really wants to get off the 23-point, though. He doesn't want those two checkers tied up there. Um, so even a 2, like a 6-3. Oh. Going to make the bar. He could make the bar. Could he run out and slot the bar? That duplicates 5. I really like that play. So 23-17, 10-7. Is that a play? I found it, Bill. Can you believe it? <laughs> uh, very good. Very Look at good. that. It's a nice little duplication of fives. This is what he wants to do, right? He wants to push forward. Doesn't want to break the midpoint. But actually, just making the seven is really good. What a play. It's a great play. I really like that. And Oh, stand by. Oh. We're, we're turning off. It's all... <laughs> that always makes me worried. With yeah. that. <laughs> it's like, and it's, it's TV you're not familiar with, nor the remote. You think, oh, I hope I push the right button. You know? And look at this play. It has to hit on the two point to stop him making the bar. Stop him getting stuck back there. So he missed the hit there. Very unnatural hit to play the last checker off your six point to hit loose on the deuce. Hey, deuce now. You take the five, huh? Yeah, you just uh Yeah. Just make the five, lovely. That's what you what you want. <laughs> yeah. And now he's used that spare on the midpoint, so it's difficult to hit with a five like this. He's just gonna point on him. Yeah. See how close running from the back is. Really wants to get off that anchor. Oh, double four. Straight in, straight out. Two. Two to the mid, I guess. Two you can't mid. play anymore. You don't want to come out with all of them because you have this weird 17 point. Um, and you allow your opponent to improve his board and slot his four points. So you want yeah, to keep it so like this. It's just a, a natural, and it's a fairly substantially the best play. Right. Now you've got some timing, some flexibility, some spares to play with from the midpoint. They can come down, join the structure, help you improve, and more importantly, play safe. Oh, that's actually a really nice one. He could clear it if he wants to. Does he just run out? He also wants to run out from the back. So which one do you run from? Yeah, there you go. That's what you want to do. You want to just run from the back. Because you you can see you don't want to be stuck there. You're primed, aren't you? Like really efficiently yeah. primed. He's actually looking at the cube already. I actually don't mind the cube here. Not too many threats. And you are leading 7-5. So small adjustment. You want it to be a little bit better. But he could roll a 7. Six ones. Oh, he goes for it. I like it. Yeah, it is a small Double cube. Take and really it's nice find. He's not going to let that one go. Though. Yeah, but if he's passing these cubes, he should be doubling aggressively. So I, li absolutely, I like it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, it says zero, zero, zero. So it's completely optional cube on plus plus anyway. And he rolled one of the sevens. That was what he was threatening. And the sequence like this. Yeah, would have made it a pass, I think. So yeah, maybe not this exact sequence. Right, so the four is a bit awkward. Come out, you give him lots of good numbers. You just have to play seven to three. But he's going to come out. That's, an, again, the natural move. Not to leave a blotting board with no spares to cover it. But here, Vic can just hit on the bar, not leave any direct return shots. And oh, really man, make, take a stride. We're talking uh, 14, 15, 16 seconds shake. <laughs> so he'll just hit and come in. Keep it going. Doesn't want to leave the yeah, return shots there. Yeah, I think you there. keep it going. Yes. Okay. Yeah. He's done enough to win now, right? He just needs to come up, come around with the other two checkers, and he'll be home. That just comes out, I think. Now the eight point is stripped, so it's a little bit different. He can't hit with the one, and the one is duplicated because he'd like to go to the midpoint with the one anyway. So now Vic really just wants like a seven to run the last back checker out. Obviously, double six, double. F Ooh, Ooh, that's gonna hit and come in as yeah. well. I think. Yeah. Same move, yep. What else? Just keep it clean. Keep it mean. He 
Yeah, good play. Chris will love a 3 1 here or double 3. Oh. oh. Not happy with that. So now Vic's free just to come round at his leisure. See him probably pop the back checker out. Yeah. And run all the way around. He points to it. Fine. And the two is duplicated to enter and two hit on the duplicated. 14. So yeah, I like just running this checker. Looks good. Yeah. Builder for the seven as well. Not that you need the seven point to win the game. You've already won the game. Oh, he got it. He hit him. Good shot, Chris. Nice one. Pushes him back. Chris needed a, a break in his yeah. favor. Yeah, he really needed something there. And he got it. So 75% to enter. And he dances. That's one in four. And now Chris has the opportunity to hit the second checker. 5-3, 6-3. Okay, saw the three. Does he split? Would you split, Bill, at the back? Split him? No. <laughs> I would split him. Can you split him? Maybe it's too big. Maybe play eight and seven. Okay. Okay. Oh, Although it's really it's close. Very, very close. Yeah, because I want to split him. You know, you want to make the 18, you want to make the 22. Uh, but I think this and is. He's going to play. Again, the standard seven, kind of. The standard idea. Yeah, he's going to, I think, play the best play. Then. I think he's going to split him. <laughs> he's split him. I called it. <laughs> must must be a. British, I should be, bet, be I, a British thing. If I was betting, it's definitely a British thing. I should be betting on the plays. <laughs> I don't need to do anything else. Yeah, it's a really good play though. I mean, he's spotted that he doesn't want to be stuck on the anchor, and uh, he can go for it. Okay, so Victor. Yeah, he just makes the point with the. Oh, he hits. Yeah, he can hit. Of course, if he comes in with a one. Wow, that's a big play. Lots of blots around, but He's the game. Hit, but he doesn't like the good play. Extra spare on the five anyway. So yeah, that's true. But there's four. Chris has four blots around. If you don't hit him, what's he going to do? He's just going to anchor, improve the anchor, or maybe make the four point or the three point. Yeah. So he saw it, but it's really difficult to make that play, especially when you were almost home free and safe. But now he makes it and he jumps yeah. out to the eighteen, probably. He and Terry is awake. <laughs> oh, they're waking up now, are they? Well, it's actually it. What is it? Yeah, he considers eight, making eight, the eight point. Houston, so you don't uh, want the eight point when you have the two point. They don't work together in the same structure. You don't want to leave a blot on the midpoint. And this challenges three stripped points in the outfield. So you can see Vic would have to break the points and leave return shots, potentially blots, if he wants to hit him. All Vic wants to do is run the back checker. So can he hit and step up? He can. Make the nine. He can hit and step up. So he does that. Know. That does all the things he wanted to do. Five forty-five. Again, you feel uncomfortable leaving the blots, but you have to recognize that like, if you do get hit, you could just anchor on the twenty-two point when once you stopped up, which would be great. And if you don't get hit, you could actually make the seven point with a three or a six, and you're threatening to hit the other blot with a five, and you duplicate some of the fours that hit back as well. So you just push. You just put the checkers where you want them in a dominating position. But I think it is difficult to find, and he might be tempted just to come down. No, actually, I think he'll find it. I think he'll step up. You really want to step up, get out of that priming. It's not really an efficient priming position, but you don't want to be stuck on the 24, do you? Right, right. That has to be part of the move, is improving this checker. All right. Wow. Yeah, it makes sense. I thought you wanted to step up. Yeah, well, I wanted to step up, but it makes sense if you're not going to step up that you do this. You don't leave the extra shots in the outfield. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to be kind on the plays that are... <laughs> it's so easy sitting here, isn't it? I mean... It is. The kibitz a PR like, uh, is zero. The kibitz a PR is four point. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you'd pushed it forward to so 22, he'd be constantly threatening to jump out of there with any six or a five one. And now we'll see him step up with any two or any three. I'm sure of that. Now that he's got the solid five prime. Get this. Oh yeah, good call, good call. Uh oh. That is not what he wanted to see. He'll just play them in, yeah. And again, concentrate on escaping the last back checker. So how does Chris? Now how contain how him? soon does Chris get frisky with that? Oh no, long way away. No re double. He huge, wants to roll like four three here or double three. Make make the four point, and then he'll have something. Aces keep them. 
keep them split out. You want to maximize, yeah, keep that's one for out. sure. You want to maximize the builders for the four point. So go to the nine, maybe, or the ten. And you still cover numbers like two, six, and three, five. Yeah, good. The last one. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a good play. So we'll see him. Oh, Ooh. wow. He's really found a lot of these crunching doubles, huh? Now oh. it's a different story. Chris may get, he, may get frisky. He will think, if he had the three point instead of the two point, he would send it because of the, the structure, the power of the structure. But with the two point, he's thinking it's a bit weak, but he is seven, five down. Oh, he sends he it. He sends it. And it's really close. It's really close. It's a great, it's a great decision against Vic. Uh, you, you should, you should give this and he might even pass because it's such a horrible position to play with a crunch board and dead checkers and he's leading seven, five. He could pass maybe seven all. What would you do and, here? And start, I mean, I think Victor knows it's a take. <laughs> yeah. But it's the center cube. It's uh, uh, the four cube. Uh, four he could cube, get gammon. He could get gammon. Ten, almost ten percent gammon. He knows there. it's a take. Right. I think he's he's confident. He hates I mean, it. He, he he hates this position with a four yeah. cube. <laughs> and uh, you know, I I think he wants to extend the match. He doesn't want to put big numbers in play. Yeah. And um, I, I, even though it's a huge take, I wouldn't at all be surprised to see him drop it. Yeah, and although the numbers sometimes imply like a, a big take, when we look at the, the equity or the match winning chances it's actually costing us, it's not that much. It might be 1%, 0.8%, even though it's expressed as like 200, 300 yeah. million point blunder. So it's not really a big deal in, in the context of the match. And if he feels like he's the stronger player, which, he, he, which said, he is. And he plays Victor two or three matches a day. He should pass. He said Victor passes stuff like this against him all the time. Yeah, and I can understand why. And they're playing, you know, it's cash matches, so... And Victor's a stronger player than Ian. He's not going to put a big crooked number into play. Yeah. I don't think he wants to play this game on a four cube. Um, but you never know. He took the really scary one against Fernando Bracconi last night. You saw that? <laughs> yeah. That was really interesting. Yep. yep. Okay. He Makes sense. Go. I'm uh, not at all surprised. Great. He, great recube from Chris. Really well played. Victor's... Uh, he, well, we saw, he wants to extend this match. He doesn't want to, again, put those big numbers into play and let the dice decide it. Yeah. You know? No, exactly. We saw how many problems it caused not stepping up with that two. Absolutely. He then rolled double you, six. You he would have he just got out with double six and all would have been hunky-dory. You were spot on on that call. All right, seven all. We got a 10-point match. You know, what's interesting, I mean, this has been a difficult match for Chris. I don't think he's playing particularly well. Seven, seven. Yeah. Well, he found a really important spot there. He'll be he'll be chuffed with that cube, um, and I think Vic actually made the right right decision passing there. You can see a few of you agreeing in From the a chat. Strategic perspective. Yeah, just Absolutely. in terms of hit, to maximize his own match winning chances. Um, you know, he wouldn't say he's fifty fifty from here. No. So he's doing better than the XG would do uh, against XG anyway. All right. Yeah, he's looking at slotting. Natural play is just eighteen and eleven. But you can understand why he's doing this. Natural play was correct. Often those shapes that we learn with the opening plays are strong. So if you're unsure, you should make the same shape, the same play that you, you usually would make, even though you're a couple of rolls in, and it's not necessarily the opening roll or the opening reply. Um, hitting and escaping is really big here. So he needs a two, hit back. He gets it. Hang it on. And I think CMC is right, and we saw it in the last game. Chris can exploit Victor's perception as the clear favorite. Yeah, I agree with that. That's a very astute observation. And that's exactly what we saw. Yeah, it is. I think maybe he felt like he rolled double four, this horrible number, and whenever you roll like the worst number, you're more inclined to pass anyway, right? Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, earlier, your right? position gets destroyed, you feel really bad about it, and as soon as the emotion or any feeling gets into it, you're going to make a, a worse decision. You're distracted by other things. Yeah, there's lots of intricate, interesting values at play here in this match. You know, it's had that been a center cube, Vic probably would have taken it. Right For away. sure, he would have taken not it. Not a yeah. re cube. No, not leading seven five. Yeah, yeah. He just thought it's enough of this position. Um, okay, another difficult hit here. Looks weird to hit with one man stuck behind on the twenty three, even though you're unstacking. 13-10 looks natural, yeah. 
But you do leave a bunch of numbers this way anyway. All the sevens. All the nines. Double five makes the ace. 11-6 and 13-8. Get there really quick. <laughs> it's the only play. <laughs> it's a four. It's, it's four. four. <laughs> it is a one four. So I can get that one. Not gonna let you get away. No. A lot of I'm not claiming today. anything. I'll claim the fourth moves. I'm buying Phil's new book on how to play fourth moves. I really like the sound of that. Uh, okay, so it makes the ten point. No, don't do that. No, well, it's gonna... go back. Go back. Don't do that. Well, you I can don't. make another he point in the structure. The okay, he's thinking he wants to make the nine against he the twenty-two point, but really you just want more structure and no blots. And you'd really like that eleven point now because he's going to make the twenty. Of course, he's going to make the yeah, twenty and lock up all those spare it. checkers. Get himself into the race. He's winning the race. The four point on the other side doesn't do much for you at all. You're really in in danger of these two checkers getting getting stuck. So Victor would have liked to take that 2-1 back and have his 11 point back. 11 and a 10 point would be much better here. So now he needs to cover and escape the back checker. And he can't do both. So he's... Oh, he can't do both. Can't do... Uh, yeah. <laughs> absolutely can't do both, right? So now it's going to go to the 9. Yeah, uh, or to the 4. Or to the yeah. 4. Yeah, I actually prefer the 9 because you don't want any blots when you're just trying to play with the 1 checker back. Mm -hmm. But it's really natural to slot the next most valuable point to make it. Um, so you can understand why he played that. It's really sensitive, these moments of like, do I leave something because I might have a chance or do I need it? You know, really got to judge every checker and its value across the board. Well, and that's a lot of the subtleties and intricacies of the game that a lot of people don't appreciate. Yeah. And the difference is so small, like a lot of people say, well, why should I care? But these differences they, they're cumulative they so yeah. over a lot of decisions it makes a really big difference and we've seen just how the tiny differences in play compound well, and aff affect the result the outcome tremendously um, well we saw it in that last game as you made that call and, yeah. and i forget uh, the specific but uh chris had done a play or two of that nature earlier in the match yeah that's right okay so he'd love a date with an eight here He'd also take that. Anything that runs that back checker, get out of there. Also like to make the four point. Okay, so he's gone. Chris would like to roll the same. <laughs> okay, doesn't get it. So he slots both the points, yeah. starts making a board, and we're in kind of a just a race. The game is always a race, but it's easier to see this way. And it's really close. Yeah, 50-50 almost exactly. Okay, so he doesn't need to safety the check. He could play 9 or just 13-8 because he's got two blocks on the board. I might play 13-8. Thir it's an indirect hit and there's two blocks in the other yeah, board. Yeah, whenever your opponent has two blocks in board, little red flags should go up saying, oh, I can make plays I maybe wouldn't normally be able to make because there's no risk. Um, but well, he did just make the, the standard. The only way to get hit was indirect. And, yeah, uh, but you still don't want to get hit. I mean... Yeah. So, it's good just a solid, clean, leave no risk. That's ideal. So can he make his four point? Then he's got a threat for when Chris is looking to leave the anchor. Oh, that doesn't do it. So it slots the three and comes down to the eight. Not much you can do with that. <laughs> now, if Chris was further ahead in the race, he'd be really keen to run with these two blots behind. This is the only play that leaves the checkers in natural strong positions. Otherwise, you have to put a dilly builder on the two point and suddenly your position's getting weaker. But he's going to look at it for that reason. But I think he's going to make the best play because the alternatives are just really weak. It's like a negative putting a, putting a third checker on the two point. So this way you can see you can fill in the board and have a really threatening position. Oh, look at this. Wow. Go with one, go with both. Well, you, I mean, there again. I would just go with one, I think. But, I think I would go with oh, one. Oh, twos and threes duplicated. Really nice. Yeah, you can go with both. Look at that. Great play. That's the Great double play falcon. And finds the play. Huh? Mitchie's double falcon live. <laughs> Turn off your nature programs. Oh, double hit. Like that. Double hit. No, you hit. You, hit. you can't do that. <laughs> you have hit, to hit, hit and, and make cover, the board. Right? Yeah. Hit and cover. Yeah, you just hit and clean up, and then you double when he dances. 
Yeah, and he's got a blotting board, so even the indirect returns, you're going to have a shot back at him. It's not like he can hit you and make the point, unless he rolls double one specifically. Maybe double four? No, nope, doesn't do it. Okay. Another big moment in this match. Will he enter? Will he enter with a hit? Oh, oh. he dances. Now, so now. He will cube now, I think. He will cube now. Yep. Absolutely. And it's quite an easy pass, actually. His only consideration was, was it too good? But he still has far too much work to do and far too yeah, much and risk. Yeah, with that, voids on the four and five. Yeah, but this, this game is over. All right. Nine away. Superb. Oh, and a break has been called. Okay. All righty. Oh, got really? some good news. Winning person. Okay. We'll love you and Indeed. leave you briefly. I'm going to uh, take a little break as well, Bill. I'm Thank you. I'm going to dance down the hall. <laughs> and I've been waiting okay. for a break for some time. Good comments. <laughs> Okay, we're going to take our own short break, so we will be back very shortly and uh, rejoin this match. We got a few more viewers since we started. How many viewers they got over here? Oh, they got five, four fifty. We got like uh, one twenty-five, but I, I, honestly, I'd be watching picture of Chris too. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, we'll be resuming shortly here. Okay. Here we go. I don't know that I've followed the entire... Uh... No, I don't uh, answer any questions during breaks, even if we're standing at the next uh, facility in the facility. <laughs> but... Uh, hmm. I do think Morton does allow people to uh, bet tours, and that would include players to, uh, you know, cash out in uh, earlier. You know, if someone bet at the beginning of the tournament for someone to win the championship, and the guy gets at the quarterfinals, uh, you know that they they could work out a, a settlement. Okay. Victor gets the uh, the double nickels, dances. Now, uh, or uh, yeah, Victor got the, the Chris dances. Here's the kind of a reverence position. Chris lets it go. So nine seven Victor. Okay, Victor runs with a six four. Three two hits. Down down for the hit and split the back. Got a twos, nice, comes in, makes the four points, going to come to the 11, I suspect. Yes. Four, one. As I, during the break, if I'm not mistaken, uh, just for an update for y'all, those not watching both or switching back and forth, I think Frigo was up 9-6, and they had taken a break at the same time that Victor and Chris did. So uh, a couple of very good matches going on. Ace Deuce. One of you step. No reason necessarily to step up, but he does. I guess he, uh, it's, it's, the double five is even worse the other way.
You didn't I need get... another week off, Bill. Oh. <laughs> Back at it already. You didn't get the memo, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and you missed the whole game. Really? Oh. It's like a two. Wow, they're just two straight back at moves, it. Two or three, three, three moves. Two or three moves. Just double so. pass. Yeah. Was it correct? Two back Split. Yeah, it was a double five. Wow, look at that double, double five. You five just pulled. A, <laughs> double five and a dance. Wow. Two checkers and a three point. Looks good. Yeah, keep the nice structure. You don't want to make the ace point. You've already got two men on the bar. Well, that's a very nice double five, and it was a double five which got him in the prior game. Oh, you don't, you don't need, you don't need this. Victor rolled double five, made the one three. Chris Dant. Yeah, this is very ugly. You don't, you don't want to do this because he just rolled a two, and then you don't have the structure. You don't need three on the bar either. But okay, completely understandable. Five four. Oh, wow. Look wow. I would, I would not have cubed that with two men on the 24, and it's a big no-double, yeah. He just doesn't really have any threats. I mean, he, he can roll a one. Can. Okay, he's going to split and hit, Did or maybe play 8-6. You think he's adjusting a bit? Well, that was my speculation. Yeah. Did, he, did okay. he make some conscious decision during the break that I've got to up the game here? Yeah, he might well have done. Okay, okay. Wow. Double three. It's going to make the five point. Happy with okay. that. I'll try. And now he's, oh, he owns the cube and he has a dominating position. So Vic's in really good shape in this game. So yeah, he gave the cube away there. A bit quickly with nothing going on. Oh, I don't like this play. I see why you would consider it. But you're just under no pressure at the back. You've got the anchor already. And the five point is such a strong addition. The rack, as they're calling it these days, against the 24 point. You just don't need, you know, all those blots at the back. They protect each other. Right? Where, where did the rack come from? I don't know the source of these things, right, I hear Bill. All, people are using that term <laughs> all the time. You're the font of knowledge. I expect uh, to know the... <laughs> you know, when it was published, who published it? I want all the, all the details. Okay, so he consolidates here. He makes a point. Somebody says from Roberti. Yeah, I think it was in one of Roberti's new books. Another brilliant author. Um, strongly recommend all his stuff. Um, really great writer. A lot of new literature out that's quite well. Okay, yeah. In fact, there's going to be a, a official signing this afternoon from Tardu. Tardu. Oh, yeah. And Olson and Mochi on their book. So... Uh, like at 4.30 this afternoon, I think. So he's got to split here. He's got to go 24-18. It's really important to get off this anchor now when he hits him. He's got to push forward and get out of this position. So really good and play. He, he sees that as yeah. well. Again, you want to do all the hard stuff when your opponent's busy and occupied on the bar. That's how you get away with these, these improvements, this progress that you're looking for. Okay, that's an awkward one. Do you just come in with the three? Do you push to the 20? Come in? Yeah, you just push to the 20. That's really difficult. You duplicate the six and the one, and you put the checker sort of in danger, it feels like. I feel like we'll see him make a play that involves eight to six or eight to five, but maybe he'll find it. Yep. Okay. Quite good at calling these. <laughs> <laughs> That's understandable. Okay. It, makes it, the uh, seven, right? Makes the seven. That's great. Yeah. Happy days. Really efficiently priming those five back checkers. They'd love a six or a two. Now you can see he really wants to step up to the 20 with that. Yeah. He wants to uh, check it back. So we'll, we'll see him. Oh, actually, he'll just yeah, make it make now. Yeah. Five. Happy. Or 20 and the. Chris Victor, wants a six. Victor's perspective. Okay, that just comes around the corner. Not much you can do with that. Nothing else to do. Try and dodge a six. Vic would love to roll a six and hit him back. Send another checker behind his powerful structure. Let's see. Can he find it? Five, four. Will he hit on the ace? No, he just come in. Okay. Come in, guess, yeah. Or oh, two down. Look at that. Cool play. Two down. Try and go maximum prime. Yeah, keep it pure. 4-1, okay. 
Cleans up, goes to the seven, pushes forward. Pushes Get that forward, last man gets out. Gets out with the five or the six. Doesn't matter how far ahead in the race you are, if all your checkers aren't together, it doesn't mean anything, does it? Be a hundred pips up, but that last back man is a killer. If he's not with the other guys, you're in trouble. Okay, good play here. Yeah, he 2015. Is. Wow, he could have jumped off the front anchor. That's such a difficult play to find. Chris wow. hit. Very happy. And now his cube is looking okay. Looking uh, <laughs> tremendous in retrospect. Uh, no, it's still a very even game, but Vic's really out of timing. No outfield control. You take a four. Well, that. He doesn't like that. Six come out there. Yeah. It's good play. Very good play. He recognizes that he needs the flexibility. He needs the timing. He's not bothered about getting a hit. He's got the anchors. And he applies maximum and pressure. He, and he doesn't get a hit. I don't think you'd want to hit, actually. You don't want him to come in and make the two point. Right. So, quite happy not hitting, just letting him roll. You right know? on. Yeah. You want him to roll like double four and waste all his pips. What do you do here? Step up to the... No. Down and slide. Wow, just to the nine. Double slide? No, to the nine. Oh, that's yeah. so difficult. All the plays look good there. I mean, you can't really change the value of the position, which is nice, so you can't make a big mistake here. What would you do with this one? Are you hitting? Or just that's all you can do. Four. Which ace? That ace. Yeah, it dupes the two. Yeah, it makes sense. But yeah, Vic's in a very comfortable position now. If you can get that other checker out as well, he'll have great timing. Oh, nice play. Yeah, he sees yeah. it immediately. The purity. You need the board to win. Make the points in order. Now he has a six to cover. Chris is going to have a hard time. Chris has got a hard time. Oh, Ooh. that actually helps. He makes the two and the four point. I think you have to go for it. He's got and two blots in the board. Two in the yeah, board Yeah, you can over just here. do it. Lots of gammons when it goes well. Yeah, you've got to do it. It's kind of forced. You make the two, then you have a look, and you say, well, i just got to make it. Oh, well, that's what XG plays. That, that. No, that's XG's play. You see the little XG icon? That's what XG plays. But it looks like... Oh, there we go. It won. Just a little bit. But yeah, that's a natural play. I mean, maximum pressure. Start clearing the point. You want to clear the nine point as well. Five, he loves. Five. No. He just makes the Make board. Make the two. Clean it up. Yeah, yeah, good call. Okay, Chris, it's not... Oh, another set. This is going to start... Yeah, start hurting. It plays. It just plays. It, Look. It plays. <laughs> it just plays. Actually, he'll be happy with that. Yeah, but he's but prepared the back points to clear. Yeah, he's prepared them to clear, but it's uh, it's kind of accelerated the game, too. By Yeah, but his timing was bad anyway. Yeah. I mean, Vic could just jump out. Um, but, you know, he could roll double six now, clear both those back points. What you do with this? I do that, yeah. I would have Keep actually jumped spare. out. I would have jumped the, out from the back. I would have kept the spare, but you were right. Is that to hit with it? If you get a shot to keep the anchor when you hit. I would just be scared of rolling like double three or double two and crunching mm -hmm. the board. Like double two now wouldn't be very fun, you know. Okay. Now. Um, wow. Well, he dodged the now double he three. The double three. <laughs> <laughs> he'll slot. He'll slot the three point. Yeah. Very good. All right. So you can see that Vic's still winning over thirty percent of the games, but he's losing lots of gammons when he doesn't. Uh oh. He can play it, but next roll's interesting. More interesting. Yeah. The thing about the five three. Well, back game or double holding game is that there's space behind to play, right? So 6-5 clears and it's not as awkward as, or there's not as much contact as the other double anchor games, right? It's easier to clear and get past the high anchors. So here we go. Doesn't mind this leaving a shot the, too uh, much now with the blot symbol. There you nice, go. Nice, that point you so, made. I did call that one. Prescient, I believe is the appropriate word. So now he'll jump off the front anchor. Yeah. And he might have to go with both checkers. Yeah, he has to. He loses out on like 1-5. He gets gammoned more. Double one. So no bad rolls here for now. But there are some coming. Yeah, no men off. And now there's a horrible 6-3. Or 5-3 five. Five, five. as well, yeah. yeah, yeah. Ugh. So you want to dodge those. You don't want to see a 3. All right. 
Big shake. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. oh. You're, you're still, oh. you're still pretty. No, but it doesn't mean he's going to get a hit, does it? I mean. Well, it's only 55 or plus, huh? But when you roll it, you really feel like you, you're going to get hit every time. But it's only about half the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Wow. It's the best miss. Well, not really. Well, I guess I, I yeah, okay. Fair enough. If there is such a thing. If there is such a thing. <laughs> All right. So he's just going to, he's not going to leave the chance, I don't think. Oh, I rip him. Yeah, I would take one off, but I wouldn't leave the numbers. I mean, you've, you've won now. <laughs> you don't need to push. Uh, you know, you're not going to lose the race from here. And taking one off, oh, he's got two off now. Famous last words. Yeah, classic rolled, commentators. Double, guys. double I couldn't say anything. three times. Now you're making me feel really bad about <laughs> saying anything. Oh what? no! <laughs> no, come on. What he might have like a couple of percent now. He can't have anything. <laughs> now I refuse to believe that he's gonna win this one. <laughs> oh my word! <laughs> Four six. Oh. Okay. One more set, he could make it interesting. Wow, yeah, six percent. Oh, that, All right, that, that's it. Lights okay. out. So much for that. Yeah, that's it. That's so <laughs> wow. Most interesting. Yeah, the funny thing is, we would have been surprised, but not that surprised. You know, yeah. we've, we've, we've seen it before. Like, <laughs> if you have a chance, you can win. <laughs> One says Seb's rigging the dice with his alpha wave. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that would be nice, huh? You know, but again, and this is true. And I talked to Trencher, who's a good friend of mine, after Trencher and uh, Chris's match. He, you know, he knew he just he was out playing him. Things were going his way, but he just couldn't put him away. Yeah, Chris was hanging, hanging in there. And same thing here. I mean, Victor's hanging playing around four point two eight to nine six one. Everything seems to be Victor's way. And it's a nine-nine match, you know. Yeah, that was a cruel game because he, you know, he did give a bad cube. Vic rolled the double three, was completely dominating with the cube access, um, and he missed the double shot. It was a huge swing. Yeah. And now we've got an eight-point match. Feels like a DMP one, doesn't it? <laughs> but it's uh, uh, uncanny how um, how Chris has been able to hang. Stay yeah. in there. Yeah, he's fine. You know, now I mean, he would be the first to admit. You know, he's playing nine six. You know, which uh, yeah. So eight away, eight away. We should mention is like very sensitive score because the cube on four could be a gammon. Perfect lights out efficiency to win the match. So actually, any eight away score you should be doubling really aggressively uh, for the efficiency of winning four points. Maybe even six points, getting to four away that valuable four away score or two away. Um. So the cube action is really Six interesting. One, make them, yeah. And yeah. The option of the bar are the five, and he takes the five. Obviously, you normally make the five point heavy. I would have actually gone out to the eighteen because I want to challenge this, think, this yeah, trip to eight I'd point. I'd go out to eighteen here. But he's already played the six, so he's not going to do that. He's thinking about splitting with the one. Wow. Which I wouldn't do. I'd just play six to five and prime more efficiently on this side. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, Gigi, this is the semifinal of the undefeated bracket. So, uh, hi, Gigi. <laughs> yeah, big match here. Gigi right. was supposed to be here, but she. Uh, we missed you, Gigi. COVID recently. Oh, I'm sorry to which, hear that. Uh, yeah, which I think curtailed her travel plans. Well, we wish you well and look forward to seeing you next time. Got a little prime on prime action. That's a jumper. Get out of that priming position. Chris going to hope for a four. He's kind of out of spares. Okay, so he's okay. got a split. Probably just 18. Yeah, what else is there? Mm -hmm. uh, you can play 6165, which looks really weird. <laughs> it's a legal play. Okay. You can play 5483. <laughs> you can play 5483 if you wanted to. But yeah, just push out. Yeah. They're both trying to get out of these priming structures. Okay, I was kind of joking when I mentioned it, but. <laughs> It's actually, it's actually not that bad, so fair enough. Again, he's trying to take advantage of the blot on the outside. Um, but yeah, you want to split against priming structures. You want to get into the race, allow yourself access, and you need to develop okay. and activate the back checkers in order what to do that. 
maybe. Yeah, he really wants to come uh, in with a four. Wants to, okay. That looks natural. 14. Duplicate the two. Two is also a splitting number. And they're not connected. You can't be... Right, you can't be double hit. Yeah, yeah that's a good right. point. Something like four or five or... Um, yeah, you got to come in with a four. No? I would think you have to come in with a four. You don't want to be back there. <laughs> that's a <laughs> we got a jumper yeah i gotta be so careful i'm being attacked from all sides here i can't say anything you got 600 <laughs> comics out here can't say anything it's impossible <laughs> but yeah he sees that he has to enter with the four and this also makes sense it duplicates the four and it keeps the connection like you were saying so really good play that's the top play yeah really nice one 6-3 is going to hit and cover. I mean, it's kind of forced again. He has to cover and then he has to hit. Unless I'm missing something. Yep, he's got it. And he's going to be really happy on a dance because then he's got some chances. Alright, a 4 is... If he get were to get a dance, I think he's he's gonna. Yeah, I mean, based gonna, on what we've gonna cube this, based on what we what we've seen. just seen, yeah. But the four, you got okay, it. Okay, he gets the four. I think he leaves that man there. Yeah, very yeah. good. Still duplicating the fours, and now the four is duplicated to enter as well. The fours, ones, and two. Wow, snake eyes. Whoa, that's the double one. Nice shake. Now he won't send it if he gets a dance this time. I don't think so. With three on the ace point, yeah. it looks a bit dodgy. He's a uh, bit of work to do here. Don't, don't, a lot, even, don't a lot even of think about it, Chris. Oh. No. And he's not listening. He is thinking about it. Oh, it's oh, it's borderline. It looks close. Yeah. Close? Oh, 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 it looks good. Imagined. Oh, eight away again with the gammas. Wow, thirty-six percent gammas. That's so many. And he sends it. Great cube. Well yep, played. Very, very good. good. Very good. I don't think I would have found that one. And I like cubing. <laughs> <laughs> Any excuse I find for a cube. Okay, I mean, so center cube. Vic's going to take this. I'm, for I mean, sure huge he takes take. this. He takes, sure he takes this. It's unlike the, uh, the re-cube in this kind of situation uh, a couple of games ago. Yeah. You can see the structure he's got. If he enters from the bar, he's already got the five point. He's already got the three checkers stuck. So the counterplay is already established. He doesn't mm -hmm. need to come in and make points and do stuff. But really fantastic cube from Chris. Um, and we'll see a great game here. He's going to split again from the back and just get out of that position. Take this moment to split. Threaten to make the 18. Leave lots of return shots if you get hit. I don't like this. You don't get any returns and you don't activate the men on the 24 point, which is what you really want to do. That's the biggest value that you can improve in the position. Often is the case. All right. Yeah, that was big, and he safeties the man, and now he's really happy. He has the cube, and um, not 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 just you know the race is even. Chris is under a lot of pressure here. He kind of has to hit with a five. He has the five. Does he hit? It could go to the midpoint and split, but I think you have to just do this with a four-point board. Yep. They're close, but this is best. Yeah, I think this is right. And again, I, I think I keep harping on it, but Chris come out of the uh, come out of the break with a different strategy or an adjusted strategy, I think. And yeah, but look at this. He's, co he's contemplating the Riku from the bar at this eight away, eight away score. Really interesting. It's not enough, of course. If he dances, he's he's in bad shape. But he's considering it. If the hits were just instant wins. It would be reasonable, but he's a long way from winning this game. Mm -hmm. All right, a three would change everything. That's the countdown theme tune, by the way. You didn't know. Oh, that. really? <laughs> All right, three, <laughs> three hits and a one would be safe. So the only safe one, yep. And if he was thinking about recubing before, I think we might see something now. Oh. Yeah, we're Depends Chris, what he rolls. unfortunately, Dan. Oh, that's a switch, is it? Is that a switch? Or maybe just Ooh. in and make the 21? Switch off the six is Oh, it is a switch. And it then is you, a switch. And then you play 21. Does the human find a switch off the I six? I think you find he loves a switch. He might be an over-switcher. Oh, really? Which I probably am as well. 
<laughs> but yeah, he's got the four point board and you can see he gets time tempo to develop his back checkers. Get off that 24 point. Now he has to reach for the 24 point with the last three. Ah, the five blat option, huh? Really important to grab that checker on the 24 point and push him forward. I love it. You put him on the bar against the four point board. He's got 16 dancing numbers and you can just keep making progress and push forward. Don't let him develop. Deny him. Deny him escaping into the race as well. Okay, I think we've got the, the switch in stone. So it's just the last three. Just the last three. I really and, like, and you're, yes, you're, I really like you're advocating one. the five blot option. I love it because it covers the other blot, right? They cover each other. If you get hit, you anchor. This does everything. He's on the bar. Like, what can he do here? Yeah, really good play. Well done, Chris. Six is five, big. Five, three. Oh. Okay. So he's got, he's bought that tempo that we mentioned to, to improve here. Five two is not great, but it makes two points if he wants it to. Yeah, and he could use a little maintenance cleanup. <laughs> <laughs> a little hoover maneuver. Yeah. A different way. <laughs> Consolidation play. Something, yeah, two, yeah, two points yeah. is strong. You can't really beat that. The anchor he'll feel really happy with. Yeah, I mean, you... you you can get away with five blots once, yep. but you don't want to push the envelope. Right, right. you don't want to leave them out there <laughs> scattered around for anybody to find. Okay, so praying to come in. 20 good numbers. I mean, 2-1 isn't that good. 6-1 Six Six he'll take. One, but no other ace. Yep, there's no other ace. He just has to keep it going. Feels horrible just coming into all the shots. Play but with two blots, so you can... Right, the alternative is so much worse. And if he can dodge here, then he'll be into the race safely. But Chris has lots of numbers to hit him, and he does. He looked at playing 13 11 before. I think he'll he play doesn't. it now. No. He's going to play it now. He wants the builder for the six point. Aye. And the ones that hit from the midpoint, because it's stripped, would leave two blots as return shots. So Correct. You can very often leave uh, blots in front of strip points like that. Two, is that a two? Four. He's in. Four is... Wow. Yeah, you just burn one, huh? bury one. Yeah, you kind of have to. Wow, coming up to the 19 is so scary. I, I would just do this. Yeah, you just have to bury the checker. I mean, you don't want the man on the ace, but you don't really want to, you want to, really don't want to get hit on the six point. Another switch. So that... What? Oh, he could just hit. He could just hit from the... from the 11. Right. But switching looks clean. You could switch and make the midpoint. But you switch from the 5-2, then your 5 and 6 is open. You just... Uh, yeah, it's awkward. It's uncomfortable, isn't it? It's uncomfortable, and, and he has so much freedom for the rest of the match, or the rest wow, of the game. I, I love the top play, Bill. Sorry to interrupt, but because he has yeah. the blot on the ace point, you can play 16 to 10. You can leave all the blots because you're not afraid of getting hit. Not, ah. Try and remake the 6 point. Try and remake the 5 point. You win loads of gammons. This is a much more natural play but if he if Vic didn't have the blot on the ace point this might be correct but because mm -hmm. his position is much weaker now he can go for like the all-in you know let's go for it yeah maneuver <laughs> the brown maneuver all right that dance was really costly so he's going to try and run from the back should just run with the back checker here very good Oh, it's exciting. Every roll here is like big in the Jonah, context of this match. Jonah and Chris, the over switcher, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that six deuce. I think we're all guilty of over switching once we get into the. Okay. Yeah, you, you see it once, do it once, su succeed with it once, and then. Uh, Another really difficult play. Eight to six looks natural, but why would you leave the double shot? You, you think, yeah, I want to come out to 17, but you leave a lot of indirect shots as well. And you don't get any returns. So eight to six actually adds a builder to the position. Wow, tricky one. Otherwise you get hit with all the fives, all the ones. Yeah, again, it makes a natural match, like a logical play, you know? You can't blame him for playing this. But it would have played a lot better the other way. Yeah. So hit and round the corner. But they're finding, you know, so many of the uh, the plays that others might yeah. overlook, you know? Yeah, Chris is feeling confident now with the blot on the ace point. He's only got one man back as well. 
Aye. Bad dance. So he'd love to make the six or the five love point to make here. A point right now. And he there does. There it is. Yeah. Over forty percent gammons here, Bill. This this could be expensive. Yeah, needs a six. Doesn't get it. So double one, two one, close out. Otherwise, he'd just be running the back checker. Double two. Oh, he's going to wow. kill some check. Well, he just has to kill the guys. I mean, yeah, just kill the guys and. Uh, yep, that's it. It's forced. I mean, leave one on a five oh, and you, then play yeah. to the deuce. Yeah. yeah. Did you call double four there, Tara? <laughs> that would that would be a bit awkward. But actually, double four would play better this way. Okay, so six now actually is is really good. I mean, it was good before, but it's really good now because he covers all no, the outfield. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, There's no attackers, right? No attacks on it. He's not under pressure. All right, double he rolled four. the double four that he wants Chris to roll. Often is the case. All right, so this is a big split out and. Out and out. Oh, yeah, it just goes all the way. Same as there. before. Yeah. Double five still closed this to six points, so you'll be hoping for that. Double five would be the the pro play. Okay, the six. Yep, just swing them around. Get them all close to home. And it duplicates six one, actually, as well. If you play to the midpoint with the three. Yeah, I think you'll find this one. Yeah. Ends up with a three blots, but Victor only has a two-point board with a blot in his home board. So, you know, <laughs> you get... <laughs> you would be cursed by coming in and hitting him because you'd <laughs> only probably cost you another checker back, right? <laughs> yeah, very good play. All right, it feels horrible just dancing all the time. He'll really want to come in now. All right. No real bad numbers for Chris here. Yes, double, double Seb, still Seb does know Chris's countdown history, so I think uh -huh. there was intent to that joke. Yeah, we had a bit of back, uh, countdown history earlier, didn't we? <laughs> Check out Champion of Champions. All right, he's almost home. Just a 6-1 here. And even then, he's got the blot on the ace point. Not much fun to be in, in Vic's position here. All right, looking good for Chris. He's got all the way around. Two good switching plays. You just play them both from the ten. Yeah. The over switcher Rogers. Nope, you shouldn't. You should have left nothing. Look at that. Oh, he's almost there. He's got to leave one more. <laughs> leave one more. He wouldn't have left it the other way. So like this, you check if any bad numbers. No, 6-5 is safe. Double 6 is safe. So everything's good. All right. Can he dodge? <clears throat> uh, uh, it's really not going to feel good just staying on the bar this game. Right, so two there, two. take one off, no bad numbers, and... To the ace. It actually wants to go to the four. You leave a bad 6-5, but you win more gammons. It's a tricky one. I think the... I don't know. He's, I, gonna, I he's gonna get the play. gammon anyway. But. He is. There you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's definitely gonna get the gammon now. Unless he gets hit. And there's a chance. He doesn't want to roll another set. All right, now Vic really Vic wants to wants dance. To dance, <laughs> wants some more. How things change. Oh, Ooh. it's the worst entry number. He's not saving this no, game. He's not saving that. So it's, uh... Wow, thirteen nine. Yes, we get to another really good score, which is four away, eight away. So the leader has to be super careful in gammonish positions, as that four cube is going to come straight back, killing the gammons and giving a perfectly efficient eight points to win the match for the trailing player. Yeah, Vic's not feeling good after that game. Gonna need a... Uh, not at all. Need a good start to the next game, get his momentum back. 
Yeah, it was a really difficult one to play from both sides. Oh, he's down to five minutes, ten minutes. Okay, they still have time. Yeah, but uh, Victor's probably going to have to play quite a few games to... Uh, could just be one game. <laughs> could be, but I, I, I suspect that... Uh, oh, down in the hit. He knows this one, 5-4. This is the play for money, or if you're trailing. If you're leading, you just play 24-15. to 15. You don't need to bother with losing all these extra gammons. But trailing, you can play this. He gets rewarded. He gets hit. And you just keep that checker going. You don't give a good six from the bar. That's a key tip. You want to leave your opponent's bad numbers bad. So numbers like 1626, 3646, 56, all the worst numbers here. You don't want to make those good, valuable numbers. All right. He'll take just a one to cover the five point. Okay, he gets there it. There it is. Okay, he's back in the game now. All right. But what's interesting Ten to me, point? Vic, yeah, yeah. Victor's going to have, he's going to be really playing with grinding focus now and i i just don't uh and he can play very fast he can play with a little time but i think he's going to have to do so <laughs> yeah. before this match is over that points it's always nice just to win the match easily but a lot of times you've got to be losing you got to be close you know you've got to fight it out and goes right down to the wire i feel like that's what we're going to see here like oh Is that this this one? Oh wow, yeah. Twelve ten free go. Yeah, it's an update on the other undefeated semi final. Very close over there as well. Is Frank the last remaining world champion remaining in the draw? Or? PJT. Is oh, PJT in is still in. Chance. He's in the second chance. Okay, so we got a couple. And Chris has got full freedom here. He's managed to escape, extricate. Both his back checkers. It's difficult to play safe from here, but he found and he's a safe gonna play. Have to play <laughs> safe, well, he's, but if he can, he will, unless it's really yeah. awkward. But um, and Victor's going to try to uh, construct a hotel to welcome a guest. <laughs> yeah, this has got a welcome mat and everything. Yeah, done. yeah. All right, he wants odd numbers, not a mix. That's odd. Well, he doesn't leave any direct. <laughs> does, no direct, but. Yeah, he's actually really happy to clear the midpoint. Gets an extra builder for the five point as well as the seven. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's not a bad roll. No, it's not a bad roll at all. He leaves, what, eight shots here? So eight numbers that hit. He really wants to hit. He got it. Got it. It's always a seven. Now the uh, dance would be interesting. Yeah. But he can, oh, it's maybe worse. Maybe worse. <laughs> no, he's, he's happy to be in. There's only, but it's just a pass now. We can see immediately. Yeah, he's going to, Victor's going to jump all over yeah. this. And he's going to get out of this game. He's going to be happy to get out of this game. You don't want anything to do with this. Guys, eight away. You almost have no value owning the cube at this score, right? How do you re, how do you redouble here? Um, yeah, good cube action. Well played. No, I've been traveling actually most of the year, but I hope to find him there someday. Yeah, I hear he's doing well there. All right. Now I've seen, are you going to be in Dubai? I should be there, yeah. Yeah, we're doing the streaming and commentary again in Dubai. Oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah, if the flight's not canceled, I'll make it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so back at it. He'd like that double one, but he'd prefer an eight or a nine just to hit. Double six always feels good here as well. Six okay. one, he'll take that. Yeah. Chris is very likely to make a point as well. Yeah, but if he hadn't made the bar, he would probably have made the nine and jumped out to the 18. But as he's blocked, he just has to do this. Still leaving the eights and nines. But he's got a good setup to improve if he's missed. Another double oh, five, yeah. that plays itself. And now Chris is ahead. He's winning the priming game. Although he's behind in the race, he's got a more efficient priming structure. There's the fives. As you can see. So Vic really, really wants to split here. He needs to get those back checkers into the race. He needs to activate them against the prime. So I'm pretty sure we'll see him splitting. Uh, except that. That makes the five okay. point. 
Yeah, that's just too good. That turns his awkward structure into actually a really nice structure. It's not as good as Chris's structure, but it's much improved. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he makes the three point. So, uh, one point away from a six again, prime. It it's accelerated the game, though, so he, he moved a lot of freight. So let's see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, Vic has the timing. You can see he's got the, the pips on the yeah, midpoint yeah. to play with. MCG is awoken. The genius is awake. The genius is awake. <laughs> All right, yeah. Seven six and five. Six, five. Set up the builders to make the four point. It can consider splitting, but if you make the four point, you're going to be doing well. You've got more timing. Yeah, good play. Chris would love just to jump out here, like three, five, three, six. Hitting would be optimal. Three, four, one, six. Yeah, he loved three, that six. on his bike. Should be really happy with this roll. Yeah, the threes are duplicated. Three, one, three, two, four, three. It'd be interesting to see if he rolls one of those. He really wants three, five. It'd be interesting to see if he rolls one of those, what he does with it. Yeah, exactly. Well, double, three, five would be obvious, but... Double three was a really interesting roll there. Well, you just make the four point, I guess. You hit, make the four point. Now, what do you do with that? Now you split, and now you and hit. hit. He sees it immediately. Yeah. Great play. Yeah, you have to do something. You can't just let him build from the back and escape into the outfield. And he got it. He got the prize, the reward from the big play. I don't think you can keep this. No, I don't think you Two can. Two men do behind that prime looks really scary well, to me. He's going to put some thought into it. Yeah, you got uh, threes to hit, five sixes, fours to cover. But it's still, once you've done that, you've still got two men stuck behind the prime. So. Right. Well, they are split. He's helps. still a dog, yeah. And his opponent is four away. So he needs one more improvement, I think. You know, like four, two, like cover, step up, dance, then I'd cube. Something like this. Actually, four, two, you'd make the four point. I'm sorry. All right, let's see. Lots of good options. Six, two, we... No, he doesn't want that. That's... <laughs> That's good to cock the bad numbers. Usually you cock the best number. Three, two. Wow. So many now things. Now what do you do? Do you make the anchor? I make the anchor. Hit the second checker. I like hitting and stepping up. Oh, I, I, I even overlooked it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a two up, right? So that's got to be. Yeah, back. two on the bar. Because then you still have time to make this anchor. You're pressurizing. Yeah, but sending the second checker back is big. Yeah, good play. Very well played this game so far. Big moment for Chris. Now we're ready to dance. Oh, he'll send it immediately. He'll send it. Yeah. yeah. He'll just send it. Oh, he'll think about it being too it's good. too good. It is too good, but I thought he would just send it. Yeah, really good decision. Fours, five, sixes, all cover. Still got two on the bar. Favorite to cover the ace. Yeah, fair enough. So he will cover. Oh no, of course, oh, of course, of course. course. We keep missing the we four point. The <laughs> no, I, I keep missing. Sorry to drag I you into too. my <laughs> blind spot. <laughs> we love before we were trying to make the four point and now we can't can't get rid of it. Alright, so very good decision to play on. And now you can see it's really there's no risk here. Um, even even were he to enter or, or hit even. It's not to Yeah, he's taking away the double two as well here. So now it's just uh, obviously a play on forever here. Yeah, unless Chris does roll double two, in which case, or something like this. <laughs> what about now? What about now? I'd be tempted. I mean, there's some risk now. You could dance. The guy could roll two six, yeah, one six. I mean, it's double and a you still, absolutely huge pass. What if you roll like one five? Are you happy having two stuck on the? Yeah. And you want to get to six away, catch this point. And Chris would just—he's gonna roll. Chris would not be excited about taking this, and in fact, obviously, he would drop this, or should drop this, but damn. Oh, so. he risked it, and now we might see the painful sequence that he could have avoided. All right, so he's going to... Okay, but We he, would guess he cubes now, right? If he thinks it's too good before, well, now Chris has improved, so now he's thinking it's double... Might be double take, double take, double pass, it doesn't matter. Shot. So we should expect to see the cube here and just I think the pass. You, you see the cube here for sure. Yeah, I think it would just go double pass. That would be my prediction. There it is. Yeah, with the third man behind the anchor, you know, it's really bad. If he just had the two point anchor, I think it would be okay. But that third man back is really, really hurting him and the gammons. So yeah, just pass, move on to the next game. It's often a clue if your opponent's playing on too good. <laughs> 
Yeah. That, that. Unless you improve a lot, you know, <laughs> you, you're you probably not going to make too big a mistake just passing. Yeah. Um, unless you disagree with your opponent and you think, why is he playing on too good? Then you might have a different opinion. Seven three. But we'll see what he does. You just never know. Well, you can see that he has chances. He could dance again. He could roll a six. He could cover with a four or a five. He's definitely got winning chances here. Um, 69. Now, one thing, folks, uh, we got 700 and something viewers here and 69 likes. I, I think we could do a little better. Oh, that's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I hope to see uh, 200 in the next five minutes, perhaps. Good call, Bill. Very good call. <laughs> Or more. <laughs> but he's doing well to consider this. And he does and take he it. takes it. Oh, it's fair enough. You can't blame him. He's got the anchor now. He's probably feeling not, not too bad about it. If Vic enters with a 1 or a 2, he's still stuck behind the prime. Uh, but leading 13-10, I'd be scared to take this. Yeah. All right. Answers again. Now he feels much better about the take. A 6 would be disastrous for uh, Victor. Yeah. Yeah, especially as he could have cashed this game. Oh, Ooh, don't want to cock that a one. Six in the gutter. He's thinking there are better rolls. Okay. Oh, we've got. Oh, the camera moves. Okay, we're back. That covers. That's good. She can actually. Uh, he could change the camera from here. That's clever. Change the camera from here. Yeah, he would really have loved to use that one to step up from the back, twenty-four, twenty-three, but he just has to cover the board, of course. Increase the dances. Won't get hit. Wow, another dance. Three five, three times. Yeah, in a row. this is a big one. He could either crunch the crunch his position, or it just goes really well from here. Whoa! Okay. Does he switch? Has to switch. He has to. He needs the timing with, to with get out of the, there. Two on the bar. Two in the air. And he has the timing to play the checkers on the outside, right? Right. Yeah. Very good play. He saw it immediately. Now, if he rolls a six. Oh, this, yeah. This could be mad. Uh, he's never going to redouble. He'll just play on for the gammon, won't he? Exactly. I mean, if it goes well, it's going to go really well. He'll pick up all the checkers. and Wow, what a brutal game. All right. There's... Whoa! Whoa! Big time. That's big time. But, 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 he's still got that man stuck, right? Still and it takes a lot of rolls. Man stuck. About five and a half rolls to get that man, on average, out of there. So Vic still has a chance, but when he loses, he's getting gammon for the match here, which is really horrible. And Chris has done well here, considering the last six, because it's not automatic to to just do this. But he gets double three to close the board, right. double six, double one, double two to close. Well, actually, double one, you just step up. You have to step up. Wow, not even one five for Victor. It's so mean. All right, so if he rolls a one, he will not hit. He will step up. That should be clear and obvious to everybody. And here he just... Yeah. He actually keeps the pressure on this checker. I guess that keeps double three and double six working. No, I wouldn't do that, I don't think. That's understandable. I mean, that's kind of the natural move. But, yeah. I would have played seven three. And yeah. One five, finally. Wow, straight in. Do you think he's going to get out of here? I don't know. I, I'm sure he's. Oh, I'm sure he's. He's halfway to heaven. Dying. <laughs> that was the most important part of it. And he's got the spare checkers outside, so he's not going to crunch the board. So he's really in luxury position here. He's going to have a couple of rolls to roll the six. He really wants the five because that stops five the, in the absolute worst way. Yeah, that stops the pick and passes like four one and these numbers like two one. Those you know. I mean it. Which he, is going to make it even make more five, difficult. Perhaps he could save the G. But. Yeah, also, give him a chance to run off the G. Oh, uh -oh. Uh, still uh -oh. plays, still plays. Third man up. But now the next roll is either break or out. And he could break in a bad way. You know, like 5-1 or 4-1 or something like this. Uh, Oh, there's one. We've seen so many double fives. This, this, match. this is the roll of the match. Yeah, right here. this is it right here. Ooh. Is he going to get it? He gets it. He oh. cocks the gun. <laughs> the gun. That's the. That's likely the match. Uh, likely the match. Yeah, he should give himself sixes to hit the other checker. Even more gammons. No double five to worry about. Yep. Good play. 
So if we want to see some more games, we need uh, we need a five here. Oh, yeah. You got to roll a real five, not a combo. Are there any <laughs> shot leaving numbers here? Not double five, double no, not double six, no. Oh, six five, good spot. Six five leaves a shot. Five three just comes. Oh, he actually considers clearing. Interesting. Again, valuable to consider all the options. Sometimes that'll be an idea. When your opponent has lots of checkers on the bar, free clear these points, not leave any shots. So now he's only got 6-5 is bad, 6-4 is bad. 5-4, you can clear the 6 point. Uh, and double 6, double 5, double, yeah, double 3, uh, double 3 is... Yeah, that plays. Wow, look at him, he's in great shape. Over 95%, over 75% gammons. Okay. It's the classic position we've all lost from hundreds of times. <laughs> <laughs> Five, four. Yeah, he got through it. Right, so he's in Gamma Gun off, so Victor still has some possibility of save. Wow, this better, stuff could the game. Now, yeah, he's so. better just to come in now. You're so unlikely to get a shot. Wow, that decision to play on too good really cost him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he could have just cashed the point for sure and get to 13-11. All right, get his running shoes on. Boris Gumpy. Better be those lightweight sprinting shoes. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his spikes on, yeah. All right, let's see if he can save it. Aces are not going to help. Any ace is not going to help. He's got 9, 10. He's got 11 crossovers 92%. To well, Chris could roll like 10 ones and miss a couple of times. You know? <laughs> could help him out. Ooh! Oh, that's gonna go a long way. That might make it like 50 50. It does, it makes it 50 50 to save it, which is a lot better than 10. <laughs> yeah, that's no, a lot better than 10. Yeah, wow. Makes you feel like you might save it now. Oh, Oof. yeah, so tense. Rewind, take them both across. All right, back up to 65% gammons. Yeah, I would bring the other one down. I want double five and six five. Yeah, all the sixes and fives. I really like a good four as well, but. All right, let's see. All right, Chris is helping. Helping. Yeah. Two more ones. You might miss once. <laughs> see if Vic can do it. He rolled the double six. Uh, four, is it? Three. Oh, you're right. Of course, you're right, Joe. Yeah, he would have loved to make two crossovers there, but he sets it up. 73% gammon. Yeah, it's uh But as is as is requisite and as all the elite players, Victor's gonna play max yeah. equity out of every role, every position. Exactly, he's got the time now. Yeah, Joe, you're right, the one doesn't make a difference now. So he's checking all the doubles. I think I liked his first play because then you guarantee yourself a crossover with a one, and that's really mm -hmm. important. Any, any, yeah, and he needs a. You can see from this position, if you rolled like six one five one, you'd still have two outside. Right. Whereas you really want to give yourself the chance to just have one outside. Hey, I will, but let's watch. We've got a couple oh. of rolls here. <laughs> we got a couple more rolls, maybe more. Let's see what he can do here. Quick shake or long shake? Long shake. Uh, he's dialing in. All right, uh, he got the two crossovers. Well, that was the play. Now he can get off with 6-3, six, 6-4, six, six, and some doubles. Chris playing, praying to end it now. Doesn't. Right. So he needs it. Got to have a six or a few doubles, but... Whoa. Oh, it was worth it, that extra shake he got there. Wow, what a game. What a swing. Huh? What a swing. How exciting can it be? Right. 
<laughs> so now you should have about 15, 16 percent in the match. The, to win. Uh, they're getting the Whoa. excitement for the price of their admission Whoa. here today, are they not? <laughs> I'm going to start shaking a bit longer. I think that's that was a great save. Okay, so update. Do you want to give an update for the other match? Yeah, that's where. Which one is it? Here it is. Mm -hmm. 1512 Balali. It's uh, on break. Afir Balali from Israel up 1512 on Frigo. Wow, that was so intense. That I'm was exhausted fun. just watching that. Okay, well, you know, but we're straight into the next game. Victor won three matches in a row. From DMP. From DMP. Yeah, as a dog. As a dog. And cube, here, cube, and, cube. And here he saves it. Cube. On the last roll. <laughs> right. Cube, you should cube. I would cube. I would cube. Maybe it's too early, but I would cube. Ah. Hey, it's, look, it's 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 it's, it's you can't, can't get closer to that. I like it. I mean you know, kill the cube, try and get back in the game. But I understand waiting as well. Wow, that was that was amazing. <laughs> wow, what a game, right? Played on too good, didn't cash, Chris took it, it was a small pass on plus plus. Worked out perfectly. Gammon was a lock. Well, this for Chris is almost a free play for the match. I mean, even though it's... Yeah, but look, look, he's got the threats. Double five, you can just get Gammon here. It could be 15, 14 in an there instant. There you go. And, and that's why you send the cube. I mean, the cube is are. dead and um, your Gammons are, are valuable here. Two wires, it's good to come in with a two. And this is a blitz. It's just, just going to hit. Yeah. Blitz city. Any four, five, six. He wants double six, actually, is best come out with one down with one wow uh, he'd, he'd rather have that a, a different number so he'll roll again yeah that's a good way to do it just say i'll have another one right down to the 11 i think yeah. maximum men in the zone pressure on yeah, the five point you're blitzing blitz right yeah so. if he comes in with a five you want to hit and cover make the five point wow big hit that takes a lot of the pressure off now he's got three men back not as much ammunition to to keep hitting and closing them out. Yeah, I think Mark Emmerich makes a good point. If yeah, you know, Chris's mind's got to be. Oh, a switch! That's a switch him. and a split, probably. Yeah, eight to seven. I like because then you get eight four builders. Seven. Okay, no, that's that's the no, natural that's split. Okay. But I would just go for eight to seven. I'd I go mean, for it too. Why not? You're gonna want that fourth builder now. And you'd add a fourth builder. Yeah, you can split any time off the anchor, but he made the natural play uh, at a normal score you would probably play that this is it's not gammon go but you don't lose any gammons ah, very nice roll perfect yeah you know but like we said a couple of games ago victor's gonna have to play several games and he's down to 210 yeah he's right? fine i think with no time he's fine with no time yeah but, but it's it nice to play yeah sure you're right it costs something uh he's in wonderful shape here to win a gammon could hit a third checker just going to bring guys into the zone. As many builders for the open points as possible. Better sixes. So, yeah, that's Here they moving come. freight. I'd come in, get another builder. Yeah, perfect. Follow the plan. Wow, horrible for Chris. I mean, it's just on the brink of victory. And now it's like almost an even game. So cruel. <laughs> <laughs> so cruel. That's... Oh. I keep yeah, saying right. that this yeah, CMC just said, will this be another example of how backgammon is the cruelest game? It really <laughs> is. There's something wrong with us. I know that. Oh, that's oh. the worst, actually. That is by far the worst number. Yeah, he loses. Kills, kills three, three men. checkers. Wow, that's horrible. Horrible. So any three or four now is laughing. Yeah, he's in good shape. What a swing. Yeah, so threes and ones are going to hit. Anything else, will he'll swing it around to try and hit the other one. Like this, like a nine, nine. he'll just swing it around. Got to bring it in and bring it down. Oh, no. Likes both out. Wow, I would have just gone for the gammon. That's wrong. You win more games just coming out. I guess because he's favorite to enter now with a three or a four. You just want to run the home. You're kind of like almost giving up on the... Yeah. And Victor recognizes Yeah, you just pick up the other checker. Forget about the checker in board. Pick up the other man and then run home. That's such an awkward position for Victor to play from here. Chris is happy now. Wow, he had like oh, well over 50% gammons, over 75% wins. Just changed with one roll there, double six. And Chris probably feels it's perfectly yeah. just after what happened to him. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> of course, good play, unstacking. 
Got the blotting board. You can make a fight. Ooh, five point board. Well, he's got the anchor and he makes the five. Makes the, the five, slides to. Yeah, four. natural play. <laughs> How is Victor going to get off the 18 point? Is the question. He wants to roll a nine really immediately or double five. Yeah, it'd take double four, but a nine, he just has to go. Before Chris's board gets any stronger. Maybe we'll see some more Michi double Falcone. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, maybe he just this has to do it. Been an incredible match. Let's see. Well, that's hard. Good I mean, that's, one, that's terrible. Well, at least he makes the five point yeah. board. Now he's protected for this for the breaking plays, right? So he's yeah, actually yeah, yeah. happy about that. But Chris is likely to make this, and now Perfect it's going to be number. Perfect number. Right. Well, it's forced. He has to come from the eighteen. So it's just how is he going to do it? Five two would be okay. Four three would be okay. What's he going to find here? <laughs> All right. Six, five. Well, that's nice because it's forced, so you don't have to think about it. Yeah. You just accept reality and move on. <laughs> wow. It right. Is. Max it. Maximize the build. It's 13, 12, split, and six split. to five. Yeah. Yeah, you split to cover the outfield. Five, you want to cover you want to cover on six two, three, three, six, three, five. Um yeah, Vic really wants to come in with a three or a two yeah. here. He would love to jump this prime. Let's see if he can do it. What a swing. Two games in a row. A one is not going to help him. But at least he gets to clean up this trigger. And Chris has the whole outfield again. He might just jump out with the two back men. Not with that one. Or maybe with that one. Yeah. Yeah, because he can't be hit. So he just covers. He covers the one six, the two six, the two five. Yeah. Covers the eight point. Gets three builders for the eight point. Can and then he can make that. Imagine the agony and the ecstasy that Cecilia and oh. Alia are going through. Yeah. I'm sure, well, we know. Uh, it is worth watching, though, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you feel bad when you're playing, but you're just playing, so you just get on with it. I don't I don't like that player. It's a bit safe. It's a bit safe. You really want to cover uh, his best numbers there. So you didn't need to make the point, but I think he's worried about maybe double one, double two, and but being a bit overly cautious there. Wow, he's straight out. He might regret. Whoa. He might regret that if he misses here. Cecilia, I've lost Oh, no way. doubt, no doubt. Leave the back <laughs> slotted. Yeah, and come out. Get off the double one, get off the double two. No more nonsense, just focus on containing that last back checker and the job's done. So just jump out with a three. Okay, you leave four numbers, six, two, five, three, but say la vie. Okay. Oh, Again, I didn't like that because he has to kind of extend the prime to contain the checker, but he's playing a bit safe. He's almost playing like gammon save. Um, which is the wrong idea when your opponent's seven away. But completely understandable. Alright, and now okay. you can see how much you would Here like to go. make, make the eight point. So he wouldn't have been switched on if he'd got that checker out of there, and he would have been able to make the eight point. So that was a huge swing on that 4-3 that he played. Now, if Victor wow, look at this. roll a six. <laughs> he could still win a gammon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a match. Can he find it? Fifteen. He, what? Found it. he found it. He found it. The six two and double six. Wow, Chris is really gonna regret that that four three play. The match was over if he makes the best play there with four three. Wow. Big swings. So a two is good for the gammon. Actually it really helps the gammon hitting this second checker. You get it? And he gets it. Okay, he's got an awkward position, but awkward, so what? But so what? It's a hell of a lot better than what? Yeah, five yeah. rolls ago. Exactly, he still has to leave the shot, and the guy still has to hit the shot, so... And he loves a one here. But actually, Chris did well entering with a six. That's going to save some gammons. Or two. two. Yeah, that's safe. He'll be okay with that. 93% wins. Almost 40% back gammons. Oh, sorry, gammons. All right, that's going to go way down. 20%. Okay, five, eight, nine to get off. Nine cross. Ah, yeah. What a game. What a game. Did you see oh. the small difference in that play made all the difference? And this, it, it made everything. evident three or four times yeah. in spades. He could have saved not getting hit with double one, double two. He got switched on, and it, it all started from there. But he is likely to save this gammon now. <laughs> Yeah, back it. You know, we have a fairly large 
theater viewing area in front of a projection screen next to us here. They can watch on the projection screen. They can also hear Sebastian and, and I uh, commenting, and it is standing room only. I don't know if my heart can survive the next game. I mean, <laughs> can you imagine madness, being in madness. either of those chairs? No, horrible. Oh, that yeah, Tara's panning it so you can kind of. Oh, you can see everybody. See yeah, what's going on behind All us? Right, he's back all. up to about eighteen percent gammons. So he needs a double here to kind of force the issue. Shake, shake, shake. No, doesn't count. I'll tell you one thing: both of them. Whoever wins has to be thankful for. He doesn't have to turn around and play at five o'clock. That's true. Have to play That's true. Yeah, there's a long break. It's not a long break. They can go and, uh, you know, take a nap, have a little something yeah. to eat. So it's all but saved now. This gammon. So after all that, just fifteen twelve. What was the point of the game, Bill? Yeah, they should have just <laughs> should have agreed a two point at the start. Okay, he wow. saves. He saves, which seems reasonable after yeah, the last yeah. save. I mean, it can't look like Victor was going to win for it. Yeah, he was for sure he was going to win a gammon. It was almost difficult not to win a gammon in that game until he rolls the double six. <laughs> and then it's difficult to win. Now, he'll recede too, Victor, at a minute and 15 seconds. Now, he, he yeah. can play with no time, yeah. just, pl just playing on his... Uh, yeah his delay but uh so a little trick for the viewers if you're two away five away that's two five you have 25 percent if you're two away uh sorry five away three away three five that's 35 percent so he'll have 25 percent statistically to win from him um but maybe he has a little bit more two away five away again the cube should be really early really aggressive kill the cube your gamma now gets you to crawford but yeah, the five point. Oh, what's that? Oh, a three, three two. two. I thought it was three one. I thought, wow, if he doesn't make the five point. <laughs> okay. So a nine would be great, but he's going to split pretty much with everything. Come down, come down and split. Could come down with both. <laughs> Some guy hopes Victor loses because it's shaking and so <laughs> he irritating. Like. Makes the ten point. Steps up with the two. Yeah. So it's a 50-50 game now. 50-50. Yeah, he's tempted to come down because he duplicates 6-4. Double four is good anyway, and it adds a builder. But really, again, with one man back, you just want to get out of there. Um, yeah, good. Very good play from Chris. They're both keeping their composure. They're calm. They're cool very well amongst these big swings. Chris still has ample time on his clock. Wow, that's wow. going to be a cube. He's going to come around to the 10, yeah, and just make the 7. Yep. And we can expect to see a cube if Chris doesn't roll something good here. That is very good. That's but very he still, nice. He still but might he still get cubes. Might get yeah. the cube. Five and three points. Five and three. Yeah, huh? that would be the standard idea. Just make the board. The, th the strong offense is a strong defense, right? So if your board okay. is very strong, that's like a protection. That's like a defensive idea. Uh, yeah, I would cube here for sure. Yeah. Um, and, I, and I think we will. Yeah, the threats. Victor Look at double needs, three. Uh, little excuse to cube. Right. His gammon gets him to Crawford, but backgammon get, wins in the match. Look at double three, five three, double four. But Chris, it's got to take this because you don't want to. Right. If he's not getting gammon. Get him to four way. Right. No you don't. Then get him to three away. <laughs> exactly. The extra point that you pay for him to get to uh, three away doesn't cost you that much, and you get the chance to win the match. So if you're not getting gammon, you're quite happy to play for it here. And if you lose, you'll still be two away, three away. That's uh, not a great number, but he hits. Makes it going to hit with everything. G play. Did a really big roll here. What's he going to find? Oh, yeah. yay, yay, yay. Yay, yay, <laughs> All those double fives. And now the gammon is on. I mean, he just covers his three point. Oh, he makes the four point. Makes the four point. We saw it this time, Bill. <laughs> so once we missed the four point, we're not missing it <laughs> we twice. Got it back, yeah. We got it down now. We won the solid prime. But he still gets a shot at a three. Oh, dear. But at least he's in. He's in and he's moving. He gets a builder. CMC, is it legal to give yourself new time when the dice are cocked? I don't, I, I don't know. I think so, yeah. I think so. I mean, people do it all the time. Yeah, I think that's the sort of gentlemanly... It's not... Uh, Obviously, here it's quite. Oh, look at this! Look at this! He can hit seven to one, break the prime, Whoa. stop Chris making the five of the four point, stop himself getting contained. 
Win more, win more gammons. Many more gammons. I mean, if he hits, it's thirty nine percent gammons. Yeah, you you really can't blame him for doing this. But look at the look at the plate. He sees it. He saw it. Oh, he turns it down. The thing is, you really don't want to let Chris roll because he's got great potential, right? Great you can just potential. improve very easily. Yeah, absolutely. This would absolutely. be a fantastic play, and you don't lose any gammons. Great play. Very good. Twenty eight seconds. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> a really good play there. That was excellent. Yeah, let's see if he gets rewarded. No, the one and the one was stuck to the table like a magnet hit it. <laughs> <laughs> there was no denying that ace from the cup. And he cleans up, so he'll be breathing a sigh of relief. But you can see that Vic can remake the seven with an ace or the sixes from the bar. So it's not like he gave up the priming game completely. Yeah. Um, okay. And he Oh, Ooh. not that six. Not that six. Man. Oh, that's really cruel. Bad sequence and a six and for a Chris, six. and he's on his way home. So here we are again. Wow, here we are again. <laughs> he needs to come in with both, really, to pressure him. If he comes in with one, it's just a bit easy. Whoa! Oh, yes. <laughs> I didn't say coming in and hits. That's th that's the only number that comes in and hits. <laughs> wow, oh. double six couldn't do that. This and is he one, dances. In my opinion, one of the all-time classic nets. Classic, and we're not even there yet. Yeah, we're not there yet. <laughs> it's amazing. Right, he's going to split to the twenty for sure. Right, and then think. Okay, I like that. Yeah. Oof. It's tiring watching this. He really wants to come in, of course. Can he do it again? He's in. He does. Eight seven. Did he hit? I don't think he's going to hit. Eight seven looks fine. No, it's that. Yeah. You can't. Keep it quiet. Keep it simple. Right. You, You're winning the you, race. You increase his gammon so right. much. You just your own gammon gammon so much. If and you, you don't need it. You just you need to need escape it. the last back yeah. checker. All right. So any three, any five is going to hit. Any six will make the bar. That's oh, the three. Vector. I'm so happy you played it with two hands. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would have done the What? Look at this. What is going on? <laughs> Arbiter. Where's the umpire? <laughs> like Ian says, maybe the best match I've ever wow. seen. Wow. And look, he's actually stopping to consider that he doesn't want to come out and give him the sixes and more gammon. So he can actually come down. And the computer says it's like a dead heat. Coming out wins more games, 2% more games. But you lose more gammons getting hit and your pips getting frozen in the outfield. So maybe he just comes down here. It feels really scary to come out. You've just got in on the bar from a five-point board. You're kind of happy, right? You don't want to get put back there. I, I actually think he'll play 13-7. Victor's kind of like, what do I have to do to kill this? I think he'll play 13-7. I think I would play 13-7 as well. I'd be scared. DMP, you just run. But, I mean, yeah, it's really difficult. <laughs> really difficult. Oh, unbelievable. Yeah, that's understandable. Completely understandable. And the computer says it's... Uh, Shit, is there a switch? It's the, the same. Game? It must, yeah, there'll be something. Oh. <laughs> it's more than a switch. There's a closeout. It's done in one roll. Right, now does he crack or can he get out? Unbelievable. Oh. Oh. Well, if he keeps rolling them, we're going to be here all day. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. just barely just. can play it. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. He did it. Man. All right, needs a two or a three. He doesn't want to see the big doubles. Got it. Got it. He's there. Okay. Still double four is going to be a bit of a thing, but... Double three. He's double. done most of the hard work. Wow, that double six for the closeout was just bam. One roll. It he's was unbelievable. Scooching, he's scooching. He's there. He's there. He's getting there. That's not exactly the switch I was imagining. I know, but when you said it, I was like, wow, that's going to happen. And it happened. It's crazy. Ah. Brutal. What a game. Okay. He's okay. got this awkward that's distribution awkward, again. Yeah. But you're happy with it. So his favorite not to leave a shot. Oh, That's very good. nice. So, uh, man. What a crazy Really, match. really high potential crazy. of a gammon here. Yeah, there's lots of gammons here. And he would go to Crawford two away. It would be gammon go, gammon save score. Can you believe it? After all this. 71% gammons. I mean, he, he must have had less than 1% to win the match. Oh. He must Fun. have been under 1% like Can total. You imagine? I remember it was 15-10. And comes down to the last roll, and Victor has to have a six. 
And oh, that was just to save the gammon, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that was just mad. Absolutely mad. All right. So this will be really big if you can save the gammon here. A lot of lot to do to save it, though. Yeah, a lot of crossovers, but. He's got one to take in, yeah. So he's got six in. Yeah, I mean, you could 11. just play seven five for the later double five. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't really waste the pit there. crossovers. It's not like you're going to efficiently bear exactly. in all those checkers on the seven with ones, are you? Exactly. exactly. Um, so prefer to have him out on the five point for later, but not a big deal. Now we'll play. I bet it. it's a correct deal. I didn't, yeah. I didn't look. Well, now he doesn't need to do it because he can come down and play, get good sixes and fives to cross over. Mm -hmm. I think he'll do it actually. Yeah, and he sees it. Good play. What are we up to? 68%, nearly 70% gammons. So we got the reversal gammon swing on the other foot here. <laughs> <laughs> Before we were tracking the gammon numbers on the other side. 72%. 72.5 for you sticklers. 2-1 is not going to help. It's never won a race. Yeah, just come in. It's the most efficient crossover. I mean, this is the amazing match. I had 83 can't believe the privilege of getting to call it and watch it. Oh, it's, oh, it's been great to do it with you, Bill. Front Thank you for seat, asking. Yeah. yeah, no, it's brilliant. I really enjoyed it. I wanted to watch the match anyway. Hmm? I'm going to have to go for a lie down after this. 870. So we're over 80%, I guess. Yep, just 81. over 80%. Needs a big roll here. Even 6-5, something like this. 6-5. Six, five. Six, five. You got it. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, but he plays it a bit fast, maybe. A little fast. Oh, he got okay, it. Okay. He got it. He got it. That's it. That is it. And 27 Jim, seconds. 27 seconds. <laughs> and they kept calling a break here. Oh, man. Are they really just going to go? keep going? I mean, it's madness. <laughs> it's Sparta. <laughs> All right, so Crawford, no cube, gammon go, gammon save. Nah, I'll Pure. tell you what, we can, I can't imagine that <laughs> by 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, Nanako time, we have 20,000 views of this. <laughs> <laughs> so we should slot, look, this is a 5 1 where you slot because it's gammon go. Yeah. And he knows and he it. Does it. Of course he knows. All right. Can we really have any more swings? <laughs> Man, have we had a simple game in this entire match? Hardly. No. Well, the one game where Victor rolled double fives and cashed him on a Right, goal. yeah. But beyond that... Yeah, good split from Victor. He really wants just to make an advanced anchor as soon as possible. Get the... Uh, okay, he's got Get the gammons out of the equation. Hit, or you can make the five. Yeah, it's really tempting to, like, do this and switch because you think it's more gammons, but... It doesn't really help the wins, you know? You're giving up that pure structure and it's not that many more gammons, so... Small inaccuracy, but completely understandable. He's just feeling all in, aggressive, you know, here. Yeah, you push out. Don't want to give any extra blots or shots. Oh, he like, likes 13 7, actually. Even though you lose some more gammons, that's really difficult. So he's just going to hit. You know what's. <laughs> I mean, it's as if it's not intense enough and volatile and crazy. <laughs> Victor's playing with 25 seconds. 25 seconds! I know, if I was Chris, I'd be taking at least 20 seconds a move. Um, just to tr just get the guy more comfortable. Like, back in take your face, time, you know? Like, I'm taking my time, why don't you take your time? <laughs> so rude, playing so quickly. You know, like, something like this. Okay, so he anchors, yeah. Now the gammas have gone a lot, so okay. with the third checker sent back, so now he's sort of just trying to win the game again. Unless the gammons appear. Victor would like to make the 18. Yeah, love a 6. Let's block the 4, probably. Boom. Yeah, 39. Yeah, also good. Make him give up the 8. Actually, I like that. Yeah, because he... Yeah, and he duplicates the 4. Yeah, good play. It's also a hits better builder. The, hits it with the trailer. Seemingly yeah. always the case, right? It does seem that way, doesn't it? You're like, oh, he'll have to break the anchor, and then he doesn't. He just hits with the checker at the back. Okay, so we're kind of in a mutual holding game, so there shouldn't be any gammons. I shouldn't have said that, should I? Ah. <laughs> I don't know what to say now. I can't say anything. But yeah, they should just be a straight race. And uh, if Victor can bring this home, he'll win the match. If Chris can bring this home, we'll get to a DMP situation. Which I'm not sure we'll be able to watch. But actually, there are some gamuts now. 20%. He hit and made the four point. That was the best roll, wasn't it? Absolutely. So he'd love just to come in and get to the 18, really. And just forget about the gamuts. Oh, that's a bit awkward. That's to play 6-3, and he's under the gun. Gets, gets attacked Under here. 25 seconds now. Yeah. All right. And it's game and go for Chris. So he so wants he, double four, doesn't he, really? He's going to be attacking. 
Double three is a good call. That doesn't hit, oh, but it makes the 11, hit. so clean some stuff up. He's still ahead in the race. So Vic just wants a two, a deuce or a seven. Just get that man out of there. Let's see. Tara. Yeah, you just run the man out. Just get him out of there. <laughs> he can't shake that long now because he's only got 25 yeah, seconds. He, didn't, he can't uh, afford to <laughs> yeah, burn his entire He can't burn. Reserve. Can't right. burn the day. Wow, big miss there. The four would have, the gammon would have been on with a four. Brings two checkers in. Yeah, clears the 11. Put the checkers where you want them. Slot the five. And now Victor will be relieved now. Just play the race and... Okay, you're losing the race, but very difficult to clear the 18 point. Oh, sorry, the 20 point for Chris. And yeah, got some structure. Nice. Consolidated. We can take a <laughs> breath, maybe. Just a small... Just a small and one. Victor's, and he's certainly capable of doing so. He's having to play pretty much purely on instinct. Yeah. Just because he has no time. Well, sometimes that's better, isn't it? Just going it with your, you your first. You don't it. Yeah, you don't sell yourself some stupid idea. <laughs> 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 All right. But he's still got to try and play safe here. Gam and save. So everything will be safe, safe as you can. So, yeah, 8-2. Yep. 6-4. No shots. He's going to leave no nothing. No shots nothing. is the order of the day. Even if it would help him win the game, it will lose too many gammons. So... Chris should just run, maybe. Okay, now what's he do? He no? Oh, it's close. 20, 2015 is not, not too far off. Mm. Oh, I like your play with the ace, actually. Yeah, but you can just come in, keep it pure. Take two in. But keep the board. Maximize the gamut. really stripped and awkward on the next roll. Yeah, this is actually not easy. Yeah, both in from the eight looks good, but then you're forced next roll from the strip points. Three to one, you don't really want to play three to one. So, yeah, he does think about well, running. Alex makes the point, and I don't know how practical it is or operable it is, but he's, you know, Victor yeah. has no time to complicate the game. Right, well, this is why I like this play, because it complicates it, and it gives someone a difficult decision, like, should they hit you? You know, they're losing gammons like this. Does he hit and make the two point? He should, but it's difficult to do that, right? He's got 20 <laughs> seconds. If he loses a gammon, he loses the match, right? He doesn't hit, you see? Yeah. So you give someone a really difficult decision when you do something like this. Um, I like it. I like the play. A really tough one. He would have got hit back, by the way, so... <laughs> <laughs> so he's happy he just made the safe play. But you see how aware he is yeah, of not absolutely. getting gammoned and not leaving any risk. The problem is it's difficult for him to win from here. He still just play the race. Make the yes, ace, yeah? He's just man. immediately happy. Under 17 seconds now. <laughs> <laughs> it never gets better, does it? It only gets worse. <laughs> All right. Cleans it up. Yeah, he could play three to two. He could play a bit bigger here. Leave the man on the nine point. He's never getting hit. Once he recognizes that Vic's never going to break these points to hit him. Fives. What is it? Whoa. Wow, that's the nuts. That's the nuts. <laughs> He's only got 60%, but that was really, really the best number by far. So eight, two, eight, five. Yeah, he's got to he's gotta stay back. Come so down with both. Well, oh, don't run. Count? Oh, he's going to count it. Yeah. So he's two behind after the roll. Two behind. I would stay. I think he's got to stay. But you don't know. It's really close. Yeah, stay, like running wins the most games, but staying wins some more gammons. Six, wow, only 2% gammons by the looks of things. Yeah. But it also makes it awkward for him, you know? He's only got 20 or well, 16 seconds. I would stay just because it gives you know, him a the, difficult the decision. two really close games, Victor's won. The key roles were double fives. They were, yeah. Double fives double had five a again. big part to play in this story that's been beautifully unfolded before us today okay so he did stay i like that play makes it a bit difficult for vic he's using a bit too much time there two five yeah simple <laughs> wow that double five was huge chris makes the board i would just play eight six and make it and hope Maybe he rolls to his... the ace no i play eight six because you're still racing aren't you like a little bit if you roll yeah, double five double bit. six you want that crossover i think but yeah this is fine uh, but that's what I'd have in mind anyway, just being more efficient. That is such a good number. He does not want to cock that one. I mean, both of these guys. Can we get back to the video, the player cam? Five four is what he really wanted. He wrote it again. He did it again. I want to see the sixty six point six percent. I want to see the players here. Yeah, for sure. They look good. So he probably just played thirteen six. I got it. Two think down. After the, both of them are just gonna collapse on the floor. Yeah, <laughs> I think we're gonna collapse here, Bill. I mean, <laughs> pick me up from under the table. So he's he's really happy now. He's not losing a gammon, and he's got no bad numbers. That actually hits and covers. 
It's going to help him in the race. Yeah, so he's he's very comfortable the only now. Danger, and it's not a danger if, if Chris... Oh, yeah, he got the four. He, he pushed Chris back a yeah. bit, you know? Yeah, he got the contact. Yeah, but the race was too close the other way. He didn't want to mm -hmm. let him roll. Um, there might be some awkward numbers here. 6-3 actually is okay. 6-4 is... Six four is weird. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, oh yes, nice, lovely, nice yeah. number. Oh man! And now all the numbers are safe, so uh, nothing to worry about. Guess Chris would prefer like a big double here. All right, thirteen seven. Still saves the six and gives yourself the builders to close the board. Yeah, good play. Wow, he's so close. Yeah. Three, two. Three, three, yeah. Three. Happy days. Somebody made a statement. 70, 30. No one said it's all skill, but you wouldn't get very far without it. No, that's true. <laughs> I like that. So. Okay. Stay or go? Oh, he's going. He's gone. Of, co of course you go. Yeah, of course. The you crowd don't. clear. Yeah, because otherwise he just hits Get you or points on you. And and yeah. Everything Best else. way to win is the race. 32%. No, it's only five pips after the roll. Five pips he can make up. And he has a gap on the four point, so he might miss. All right, so this is for the win or for DMP? Slot the four. Slot yeah, the fill gap. in the gap. Well done. 14 seconds. All right. This is where you this want to make sure time for shaking, right? Yeah. This is. You really want to heat them up. You, want to you, dial want to... up <laughs> <laughs> you really want to charge those dice. So... Oh. But don't waste any time. You got. You may have to play another game. Right. Yeah, that's a Six consideration. One. Six one. That's awkward because you get a gap on the on the ace with another one. So it's getting closer. Ooh. Five three. Five, three. It's getting closer. 35 percent 65 35 two to one almost and as my friends say this is where the real skill of backgammon comes in this is where you want <laughs> this is where you want it you you've worked yeah for decades decades your role right <laughs> all those lonely nights back at the toilets on your own <laughs> hitting the dice against the wall this is where it all comes into play oh he hits the gap so we're, we're 60 40 now. Oh. Two off. That will leave it. Back to 65 35. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Oh. Any roll will change this. Okay. He didn't want that. Now he has a gap on the but five as well shoot. and a gap on the one. 55 45. Gaps, there's hope. Yeah. And Chris isn't missing. Wow. Five, six, six, five. Now it's going to be really close. Now it's going to be really close. Yeah. Even money, pretty much. What a swing on this game. Wow. Oh, he misses. misses completely. And he's odd. And he still has one on the ace. Wow, Chris is doing well now. Chris's favorite. Or two. He is. He is. He is 60%. All right. All right. <laughs> I can't say anything. People say, don't jinx anybody. Okay. All right. So we're going to come down to these last rolls. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay. Uh oh. Well, he gets a man off, unstacks. 50 50, perfectly 50 50. Poised in the balance. He gets okay. the one. It doesn't hurt him. Doesn't hurt him. 55 45. He would love to take two men off here. Oh, yeah. That was one of the worst. Yeah, you got to take it off, but he's down to 34. 4% again. Man. Yeah, you need him to roll three ones. Now it's three ones, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, my word. It's the first one. Just don't know what this match has in store for us. Wow. 5-2, no, Oh, no. he missed. Misses. Now he needs to double, do he needs to double three, unless Vic unless rolls Vic two rolls one. A one. Yeah, one and then another one. And then another one. He needs to double, wow, that was, that was bad number. Vic will hope he just ends it here. 
Five, three. Okay. All right, threes are three, better. Threes are better. No. Whoa. Wow, what a match. What so an incredible, two, one. incredible match. Just, wow. Uh, we at? Well, I hope you all enjoyed that. That was <laughs> edgy of seat stuff. <laughs> That's wow, the Bill. most incredible match I have ever seen, and I've just wow, such high stakes to have been a part of it. Crazy! Thank you for oh. the company, Bill. I really enjoyed <laughs> that, and I hope everybody listening had fun and uh, followed along with the match. Wow! Wow, I'm exhausted. Did. I was gonna he see pulled it up. Could, uh, who's that hanging her head back there? Thank hanging. you for all your kind comments and love, and uh, really appreciate it. Um, we'll see what happens. I gotta go lie okay. down. I gotta go play li later. You gotta play. I don't think I can play anymore. I'm like... <laughs> good, good fortune tonight. Thank you. We'll see what happens. Maybe see what your draw is. It's good news and bad news, right? Yeah. Well, good always... news. Maybe we'll stream you, right? The bad news uh, is if we stream you, means you got a damn good opponent and it's a great match. Right? It's all good news. <laughs> it's all good news. But yeah, good fun. Okay. Um, I really enjoyed it. Thank you, Bill. And, okay. Um, I'm going to see. Look forward to doing it again soon. If Victor, by chance, is hanging around. Wow. What a game. Oh. Don't go anywhere, folks. That's <laughs>
You might need to guys in a reminder for that. So much is. Yes, I'm going to be not just have a small point here. Let's see if we have a bigger half. It's a little closer. Good. 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 Nå, okay, nu så er det her, hvis det er noget fuldt og fuldt. Den er ikke sikkert. Okay. Nej, jeg så bare 439, så bare noget, der så. Men jeg skal også rigtig gerne. Så er det sgu, hvad man gør. Ja, så gør vi så. Ja, jeg vil lige give, altså, når jeg kun kan huske træneren, så er det jo sådan noget til, at han kommer ind med træneren, og han hopper ind ud. Men om han ruller træne 1 eller træne 4. Jeg gætter på, at han ruller træne 4. Jo, lad os sige 3-4. Det er lad os nu i hvert fald bare gå til mere for at tage det op. Så 3-4. Ind med træneren. Og hvem der siger? Den der. Lad os spille. Jeg spiller 4 brækker. 3 brækker til Olsborg. 4-1. Klart to. Ja, hvad skulle jeg have gjort? Du skulle have givet det til to punkter. Nå, du skulle have lavet to punkter. Nej, nej. Det er sådan et spørgsmål. Er det mig så? Ja. Jeg ruller også rent to. Nej. Jo, jeg ruller også rent to. Spiller to med. Why?
why do we have 22 minutes each on the clock? Oh, you're going to need to tell me which time works. Yeah, so who reset? My, my question is who reset the, the, the time? Mm. I know I didn't. Okay, do you have anything that's. Uh, I'm 20 or 2. You can, we can use whatever clock you want. That part I don't care okay. about. Uh, and I have the time tell settings. Tell me what the times are. Yes. So I have 2003 and Morty has 1622. Okay, and you are sitting here? I'm sitting here. Okay. All I need to know. Did you either have a cow in? It might have been me by accident. I don't know. 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 Okay, so 20 minutes, 3 seconds. Yes. Okay, and Morton? 1622. I'm sorry, it might have been me. It didn't even cross my mind to be careful before. No, 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 the clock. This, that, this would blame me already, Charles. No, I, I did not. I suggested that it might have been. Uh, okay, that's yeah. good. Okay. Well, well we have a little bit of bonus coverage. We don't necessarily have to do commentary, but uh, we have bonus coverage. Okay. It's actually a, an excellent match, it's a round of 16 match. I'm still trying to recover from calling yeah, know, that last match. Man. <laughs> oh. Yeah, moving partners are one. That's good. Okay, I'll keep it. Yeah. Yeah, we just need the rest of the match, but uh, but Montan ran away with it. <laughs> they won that match. I mean, well, that's the way to win it. Well, it's very impressive. I was writing mine, and he was writing his, and that's why he was not just. Uh, old school. I'm just playing. It's not old school. Oh, so so no no camera is what you're saying. Is yeah. It? Nu må vi jo holde pause nok. Du skal lige hjælpe for resten af kampen. Ja. Der er jo tusind mennesker der. Yeah, I'm going to 
six on the back, and then one to the center. Same tool, two, lower on the bottom, out and to the bottom. And a pistol, again, two hooks. Jeg mener, at jeg står sig fire på ham, og så står jeg fire et, så har der ikke. Nej, hold, nej, undskyld, at det er ikke fire to her, hvad? Du stikker med den ene. Så det er jo ikke en rullet fem to nu. Fem to nu. Fem to nu. Hele vejen. Og... Ja, og seks fire to. Og du ruller fire to, fire to. Ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja, ja. Så der er punkt. Her ruller du tre. Og et seks.
Come on with this one. You said come on with this one. 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 Men når I kunne altså holde din del af aftalen, så er det ganske ganske ganske. Jeg vil gerne stille en anden vej, så ruller de lidt ud. Men det, siden du ruller, så ruller du med på. Men så ruller du også på den, så ruller du på den. Ja, den, den her skal være den. Den skal være den. Fordi så kan vi så kan vi se, at den skal være den. Og så ser jeg, at jeg har hjemme den herovre. Fordi vi ruller på den her side begge to.
be. Vi venter på ingenting, de er klar. Hvordan har du det med at bare rulle med kroppen, og så når jeg skal bruge en, en pas 5, så smider jeg den lige ned? Det bestemmer du helt sikkert. Hvad siger du? Okay. Nej, det er fint. Jamen, så ryger vi ind i et så... Nej, vi må ikke flytte den. Vi må ikke tage den. Ja, vi må ikke flytte den. Nej, men så kan vi jo ikke, fordi den skal være ved, ved hjemlandet. Har vi, har vi fået en notar, der kun kan spille den ene vej? Jamen, du ruller, du ruller herovre. Åbne skole.
Say hello to my wife. Prime or attack. Oh, I didn't even see that. Am I too good? I find that very hard to believe. Sikkert nummer. Ja, jeg troede, da jeg dobblede, det var dig, der skulle bøste, og ikke mig. Ja, altså jeg tænkte også, at jeg følte jo sådan om, at det var det easy time. Ja, filmen film, film, film startede en del med Chris Fem. Ja, 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 der kunne man godt se i tegningen. Det går meget hurtigt. Det kan give lidt stærkt der. Åh, tak.
roll, 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 roll. Und Hand. six
Shakespeare. Can't say I was not thinking about this. Yeah, I was just looking. What is what number is it? Instead of Må jeg tage en smule af din tøj? Ja, ja, det gør jeg da. Det er min favoritsolvand, men jeg synes den helt er lidt for meget. Så jeg trak den rigtig meget øh, den gang, hvor jeg havde øh, sabbat over for alkohol. Ja. Tilbage, det, ja, men jeg kan godt forestille mig, jeg har aldrig været til gin tonic, men jeg kan godt forestille mig, at det smager jeg synes, det er noget. Dejligt, der, ja, ja nej, men jeg kan godt lide tonic. Gin har jeg bare aldrig, øh, gin har aldrig rigtig sagt mig noget. Og nu har jeg selv øh, taget det andet år, jeg kører uden alkohol nu. Ja, det Men det er ikke for en skyld, det er for børnene. Det, det er ikke nogen dårlig idé. Nej, det er bare for... Ja. Nå. Det er ikke
pause? Ja, det tror jeg lige. Vi får plads til tre. Du må stå på 13 på der, så jeg tager den. Er du klar? Ja. Okay. Jeg har fem toner nu, ja. Som jeg sidder og tænker over. Seks fire. Og så seks fem. Følgelig som kende tidligt, som det udviklede sig i spillet. <laughs> ja. Men ja, jeg nåede aldrig rigtig at blive glad. Nej, der var, du, nej, der var ikke så mange højdepunkter. Jo, altså det er klipper. Du havde en to, det, 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 to hvor den anden spiller jo. rundt. Der, nej, 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 nej. Det var det, hvor jeg klipper. Inden du ruller. Der er jeg glad. Der var du på gearet. Nå, ja, 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 ja,
Åh, oh, ikke helt op, nej. Er jeg sikker? Ikke helt op. Nej, 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 jeg skulle lige... Øh, at, jeg ikke, at det ikke var min tur. Det var også, det var nok mere min som en dårlig morsomhed, tror jeg. Jeg forstår slet ikke. Nej, jeg kiggede efter brikken derovre i hjørnet. Nå. Du ved godt, at nogle gange, så synes man, Nå. at det er, man er morsom, og så, Nå, på den ja, måde, så kommer ja, det så... bare til jorden. Ja, ja. Fordi, det var, ja. Så er det heller ikke mere sjovt. Jeg tror endda godt, jeg kunne have nået det faktisk. Og redde det. Ja, no, det men kunne jeg det er jo altid, det kan man jo altså. Det kunne jeg faktisk ja. Ja, det, det er det lidt imod, det, det gør jeg sjældent, det der faktisk. Ja, jamen jeg har også vendet mig til bare, fordi, ja, mod jeg var. Ja. Kommer du ikke lige efter mig derovre i hvert fald? Well,
få en udrulning. God fornøjelse i næsten. Jo, tak. Jeg synes, det er sjovt, du er eller, sjovt og sjovt, men altså den 3-1, du starter med at tænke over, hvor du overvejer, om du skal ind på 3 punkt eller ind på 1 punkt. Nå ja, ja. Der får, du, altså, jeg dobbler jo Insta, hvis ikke du uh, tager ankeret. Ja, 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 ja. Jo, jo, det kan det godt, men altså, jeg har jo 3 og du har to blokser, jeg er oppe med 20 fyldt, så du har ingenting. Det er kun 234. Når jeg står her lidt bagfra, og ser den, så kan jeg godt se det. Det er næsten en dobbelt på morgen. Det er en dobbelt på morgen. Jeg besluttede mig bare for, at det var en dobbelt på morgen. Men vi fik ikke svar på et spørgsmål. Hvad er det? Jeg tror, det var på grund af den der. Jeg har gået og sige sommer. I'll show you. Oh, no, no, just go to the window to the session camera. Yeah, there you go. This is it, yeah? And then all the oil out of the oil pan. Yeah. Oh, no, we didn't have it there. PC6 and the uh, two bags from the plastic. No. <laughs> well, how about, how about the dog? Like, yeah. I'll go five, two. It's much better than this. 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 Det må du redde af kameraen. Det må du redde af kameraen, fordi det kommer med 6 på gange. Nå, okay. Det er en passe skole. Det kommer små også, synes jeg. Er du usikker igen, den der kigge? Det er kigge ind, og det kan nok også stille bruge til mig. Der har jeg oven i købet 5 punkt for det hele. Eller 4 punkt for 5 for 5 for det. Og så kan man stadig ikke tage den. Hvorfor vi så bruge den form af til noget? Og det var den, jeg prøvede at få et låne. Så hvis vi nu tænder...